Should I unmute us? Right yes, now? you should unmute yes. us finally. Should I change the scene? Yes. I'm changing the scene. There we go. There we go. We're <laughs> good here. job. I'm not on tech support this time, so things are oh. weird. Anyway, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, Team Bonus Action. We will not be doing uh, Into the Woods Chapter 3 Smile Town Review. Because uh, uh, Bosch can't make today. He had uh, he had stuff come up. So Life I'm running a, I'm running a filler. Woo! I have this much planning. It's gonna be weird, it's gonna be great. It's so be nice. welcome to a Monster of the Week game and the Cursed Cypress Chronicles called Smothered, Covered, and Slashed. So I am Miro. I am currently having hash browns, like everybody at the table. Mine are smothered, capped, covered, clucked. All right. I don't know all the definitions, but we're going to figure that out. In other words, I have mushrooms, onions, cheese, and chicken in my hash browns. All right, and uh, hey, everybody. This is a Ninja Spencer, and I, too, am having hash browns. But they are smothered, covered, chunked, clumped, and capped. What's chunked? Chunked is uh, the bacon. Because What's we don't have ham. Uh, well, egg. I didn't add the bacon in there because it was on the side for me, but yeah, uh, the egg is egg. 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 Okay. Uh... I'm Nasa Does Cosplay, and this monstrosity here is is hash browns that are smothered and egged and clucked and and, and sauced <laughs> with 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 some some chunks. Oh shit! Do we have sauce? Mm -hmm. Red sauce. I'm gonna go get some. Go but get first, the red I, sauce. I'm great flour. I have food. <laughs> <laughs> go get your sauce. Don't bring the sauce thing in here though, because it's got a logo. Or do and and ignore me entirely. I, I, like, I was already walking when you said something. <laughs> it's just a generic sauce. Don't worry about it. It's entirely it. generic. Ignore the ignore the potentiality for labels. Yes, he is adding white people hot sauce. Mm. Hey, good, shut up. White people. <laughs> <laughs> that came out weird. It's salsa flavor without salsa. Because I don't like chunks in my salsa. <laughs> Now you just have to sit and watch us eat for like five it, minutes. It, it, mine is like smothered, covered, chunked, I think. Capped. Baconed. Egged. Belled. Sauced. And now it's belled. 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 Bell chiffon. Anyway. So, Any guys, keeper. We are going to be playing a Monster of the Week game, which uh, we have an ongoing joke up here that's only half a joke. So... To give everybody a little bit of an idea of what type of insanity is going to be going on, <laughs> hashtag please sponsor us Taco Bell. <laughs> so, shit. <laughs> you messed it up. I did. Damn it. But yeah, actually, Taco Bell, if you would, I would not mind being the uh, professional DM for your franchise. Gong gong. But no, uh, uh, please sponsor us Waffle House. We mm. live in the South. Waffle House is almost a way of life for some people, at least when you're in college and 3 a.m. rolls around. Yep. Or depression. <laughs> yeah, you get breakfast all day, or you can get a steak at like 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. Get steak and eggs at 5 a.m., you're a little bit drunk, it, it's heartwarming. And finally, heart attack causing. And we don't it's do dinner here. It's a little late, and I got steak and eggs, and I need you now. <laughs> anyway, we have not made characters for this. Uh, they will be working on it as we go through. Uh, there was a joke made about your your choice of toppings for your wa or for your uh, hash browns. Would you thought I was joking? It's going to develop your character, but the problem is if we did that, everybody would be, be playing the flake. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am the chosen. Oh. You can't stop me. I have this. I have a plan. It's a it's a chaos plan. You can't stop me. Hey, put the wait, come back! You have been stopped. We don't have anybody that's over there close enough to clip this shit. <laughs> I certainly am not getting up. If you're watching us, please clip this shit. <laughs> yes, please. You had killed me. I'm the balloon. <laughs> she said I couldn't stop her, so I took the character sheet off the table. He said bet. <laughs> bet. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm going to be playing the wronged. Someone wronged me. Probably Hewitt. 
by the end of the game, yeah. <laughs> Everybody will be wronged by me by the end of this game. As if there was any other options. Y'all woke up today and chose violence with me. Let's go. Let's go. What is violence? What is this you speak of? Violence is going on to Reddit and telling people that Italian food is basically Chinese food with <laughs> tomatoes. What? <laughs> he wasn't here for that conversation. Okay, Even. Gotta play a female. Okay. So, uh, Zeta, before we move on. Are you saying men are odd? That is true. Maybe. I won't deny it. I mean, you see the shit men do. I mean, they're weird as fuck. There's a whole channel on YouTube called How Ridiculous. It's three Australians that just do stupid shit like we're going to chunk a basketball off the top of a dam to see if we can actually make it still go in the hoop. But they're super positive. They give a lot of money to charity, so they're the goofy type that I'm like, all right, you're the reason that men don't live as long as women, but you're using it for good. You're like jackass. If jackass gave to charity and didn't show their wieners. I really I think they don't. do get the charities, actually. Jackass does. I think they do. It's just that I could I could go the rest of my life without seeing Chris Pontius's wiener ever again. Or any of their wieners. If you watch the newest Jackass movie that just came out, I don't suggest it. Oh, I saw it in the theaters. There's a lot of 40-year-old dick that you did not ask to see, but you paid. I mean, it's more like 50, but... Well, no, Knoxville just turned 50. Also, you don't see his. Thank God. I don't think he ever does anything. I, like I feel like I'm in the wrong group because all all that you're saying is making me want to go watch a movie that I've never watched before. It's a good movie, though. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, okay. If you give me a Jackass movie, I'm from an age group to where, yes, I will watch Jackass. However, now... It's like they're trying to pass the torch on to the next group of jackasses, and it's probably not going to work. But it's also sad when you see a bunch of men in their 40s and 50s doing the stunts they've been doing for over 30 years, and then legitimately hurt the fuck out of them. Like, Oh yeah, like fucking... Uh, John Knoxville had brain damage. Yeah, he... They literally tore uh, Danger Aaron's scrotum and ruptured a testicle through an athletic cup. They... And, and physics be physics. I'm saying that as I still sit here and eat. <laughs> I'm the child of a nurse. It doesn't mess with me. Sorry, internet. I used to watch bones and eat like cookies and cake. Like no issues here. Um. What? Okay. Mm-hmm. You're starving food. Oh. Uh, so. You chose mm-hmm. the what? Professional. Professional. You chose? Chosen. I chose the wrong. All right. So we got a pretty decent mix here. I'm just going to take all the... Oh, man. You printed these on cardstock. Mm-hmm. They will outlast us. <laughs> but the way the world's going, yeah. <laughs> okay. So... So as y'all eat, start working on your characters, and let's come up with the topic. Okay, so... I will start off with a topic. Yeah, what, is the scar- what is the scariest thing in a video game that was not designed initially to be scary that ended up turning out to be more frightening than anything you encountered in the game? Mm. The tree in Kirby. Uh, Kirby Pinball, the tree. Oh, yeah, that tree's fucked up. Right. Mm-hmm. The tree is tree beer on steroids with a side of moss. The Angry Sun, Super Mario 3. Yeah. Oh, I, actually, speaking of, like, celestial bodies, the, <laughs> uh, Majora's Mask Moon. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mentioned this one before, stream. The scariest thing I've found out in a video game recently is I'm playing the old game Valheim. I thought the scariest thing is when I turn around and all of a sudden there's a troll that is glitched and just waiting there for me until I notice it before it strikes. So it's like, just going to mine some copper, turn around. You're on crotch height with a big blue angry blonde dude who uses a tree to smack the shit out of you. You turn into the cat when the cucumbers are there after they're done eating. Yeah, that was what I thought was the scariest thing until I finally made a good enough boat to go out on the ocean. 
and then nighttime happened, and when night first falls in that game, everything's pitch black. So I'm in a boat doing this on the screen and can see nothing but the immediate six feet around me, and I'm like, which, by the way, I'm pretty sure that's the worst feeling when you go out on the ocean at night as well. Mm -hmm. This is why I don't do open water, people. I'm a <laughs> land creature. Who happens to live in a state that's 40% fucking water? I am a small water creature. Like, I'll do mild, like, flat rivers and lakes and shit. I don't, I don't want to do rapids, and I am careful about what I do on the ocean. Like, I haven't ever been on an actual, like, even like a coastal cruise or anything. Because I know what lurks beneath the waves. See, my thing is we don't know what lurks beneath all the waves. That's the thing, you know what you don't know. Okay. The fact that I know there's an unknown unknown under the boat in the ocean I'm in does not make me want to get in a boat and go out in the ocean where I can't see land. My girlfriend and I have already decided that one thing we're going to try to do in the next five years is take, like, a transatlantic cruise out to the Mediterranean and do, like, the whole, like, Mediterranean loop. Because, like, we met because of, like, Greek-inspired stuff, so, like, we're going to have to do that at some point. Also, I love Greek food. Greek food's so fucking good. Everything that's not cucumber-based or, like, cold yogurt-based, I love it. Flavor profiles, the the. I like Medi I like Mediterranean food in general, though. Filo like, mid and mi middle Middle Eastern food. I learned that I like a lot. Okay, minus fish dishes. I've learned that I, I don't do fish. Really? Uh, I didn't got, know that. It got ruined for me. Uh, it's a texture issue because even when Emily is giving me tuna or salmon, really good tuna and salmon that I can cook right, it won't eat. Uh, it immediately turns into the Gordon's Fisherman's fish sticks in my mouth. Okay, that's fair. But I don't do like I don't do like processed fish sticks or anything like that. Like, because I got those so much as a kid that all fish taste like that to me. Mm -hmm. Also, I don't know how you fuck up catfish enough to make it into that. Mm -hmm. but I've had it before. Mm -hmm. Chris cooks good fish though. Uh, which one? Like, or you, you did those tuna steaks one time? Oh yeah, yeah, those are good. I like tuna. Um, we but, like miso salmon or like lemon pepper or like trouts and white fishes. So, um, or a really good red snapper from New Orleans. Mm. You know what was good? Like, I had it in Florida, uh, grouper. Ooh, I you heard grouper good. Grouper is supposed to be good. Here's the thing three fun facts about the grouper. One, they're smart enough that octopus have kind of domesticated them. Mm -hmm and we'll use them as a hunting partner. Mm -hmm. Two, goliath groupers are smart enough to know that they can practice hunting larger fish with humans. By that I mean, we're too big for them to eat. Even a 600 pound grouper that is the size of a Volkswagen bug, we are too big for their mouth, so they can't eat us. But they will practice hunting us because we're smarter than anything else down there. The last one is, and I don't know how this happened, its nickname is the Jewfish. And the only reason I know this is because one of my co-workers adopted her son, who, when she adopted him, found out he was Jewish, so she did everything with him, and then he moved to Mexico and runs a boat company, and every last one of his boats is called that. And I was like, I want to say something in this feels like prejudice or like something you're not supposed to say, but since he says it's okay, I'm not... I don't know how I'm supposed to handle this information. I also want to know why the fuck y'all decided to do this and, like, nickname the fish that. Mm -hmm. Like, there's history that I haven't investigated. Oh, other fun fact about them. Uh, Chris and I's friend, uh, Tim Chauvin, uh, when he takes people out to practice diving, he will find a Goliath grouper and get it riled up and send it in their direction to see if they panic while diving or not. Wow. That's a big fish. Our friend Christina didn't panic, but that's because she didn't have contacts in, because she didn't have contacts to wear underneath her goggles. So, she didn't know what it was. She just saw something. Big, swim. giant thing. It was a big blur, and then it moved past her, and she's like, it must have been a dolphin. And I'm like, oh, honey. <laughs> but no, she's fine now, and she's, what's funny is she'll punch him. Like, <laughs> she, like not, okay, I shouldn't say punch. She will take this 300-pound fish and go, no, go away. Go away now. Bye. You're being naughty. Leave. Hmm. 
Mm. I'm almost done. I just need to pick one more move. Are uh, you over here just waiting for anything I dropped off? So what'd you think of this off on the edge? Very good. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I'm smart, mm -hmm. right? I know mm -hmm. things. Yes. You, you you literally had slight pepper flavor with heat and a liquid form to go over everything. Mm -hmm. Ninety percent of sauces, which means it makes it better. But it's mild enough that it doesn't destroy the egg flavor underneath. Mm -mm. It makes it spicy, tasty egg without killing the egg flavor, which is good. Yep. Not gonna lie, whenever I go to Waffle House, I put steak sauce on my eggs. Not my eggs, but my uh, oh. hash browns. Oh. That's good. If you put steak sauce on a baked potato, it's good too. Yeah. I don't eat baked potato, so. There's a lot that's. I did a baked potato diet for a while. It didn't work. This is in the 90s when like diets came out. People like, this diet works 100% of a 90% of the time. I don't. It's like, as long as you stay on the diet, yeah. Oh. Alright. Um. Y'all keep working on that. I need to refill a cup and then we'll come back and start talking about characters. Okay. Hey, Gopher, so I don't have to go out to the shed. Can I steal one of yours? Yeah. You may steal one of mine from the shed if you want it later. I got October Fest. Excuse me, one more time. All right. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to... Not the sharpest tool in the shed, but you are the cool one of the bunch. I mean, I don't know shit about magic because I don't want to know about magic for once. All it is is just that pen and tell bullshit. That that's a negative one weird. <laughs> it's just pen and tell. you go with on your abilities? My abilities were the no one left behind. When in combat, when you help someone escape, roll sharp. On 10 plus, you get them out clean. 7 and 9, you can either get them out or suffer no harm. My choice. On a miss, you fail to get them out and then you have attracted hostile attention. And I also chose medic. I have a full first aid kit and the training to heal people. When you do a first aid, roll cool. Ten, ten plus the patient is stabilized and healed for two, seven, and nine. Choose one. Heal two harm or stabilize the injury. On a miss, I get to cause extra harm. Harm, harm to the person that this move takes place of regular first aid. And as for gear, I have a sniper rifle. And my as just that my serious weapon, and then my two normal weapons are a nine millimeter, is a nine millimeter, and then a and a, then a big old knife. A knife. Right, and what did you go with for your stats? My stats are zero charm, plus two cool, negative one sharp, plus two tough, and uh, negative one weird. Oh yeah, I did see that. <laughs> it's me. Mario. Anyway, so, uh, and what happens when you use luck? Whenever that I use uh, luck, luck, it says the professional special. When you when you spend a point of luck, your next mission from the agency 
comes with lots and lots of red tape. Right, okay. So the more luck you use, if you ever use this character again with me, it just gets worse. Oh yes, and then uh, I do need to read off my red tape. We have two resources. We have cover identities and recognize authority. What, whatever that means. It means your authority is recognized by a lot of organizations. Like you walk up to the cops. Oh, cool beans. Okay, you walk up to the right cop and they know what's up. Right, and then our red tape is hostile superiors and interdepartment rivalry. So the Louisiana state government got it. <laughs> no, y'all, I'm a teacher. We just got handed so much red tape, but I'm not getting into that now. That will be on tonight's kitchen table at 8 o'clock. All right, Nacy, you're still picking yours? Yes, right. sorry. Totally. I am. I am playing the wronged, and I got. I know my prey because it, it gives you that for free. It doesn't actually give it for free, it just takes that move set. And you, you automatically get that. You yeah, don't. Yeah. It's kind of like with the spell singer. Hey! Yeah. You're a spell slinger, so you get this. So you have to pick this. So, uh, I got what does not kill me if you suffer harm in a fight, you gain plus one ongoing until the fight is over. And I also got safety first. Uh, a jury rigged extra protection into your gear, giving you a plus one armor. Maximum plus two armor. So do you have a bunch of bent forks and horseshoes and spoons and lining? No, I, I, jacket? Think it, I think it's just like old car parts. Like, you've literally taken like hoods and bumpers and put the you've Mad Maxed and slashed auto botted mm -hmm. your jacket so much. You're setting off every metal detector. Yeah, but it, it, you don't see it because it's inside of like a denim jacket. Oh, we're going denim. Yeah. I, oh, I'm going full like. Uh, oh wait, are we are we doing full Louisiana? Uh, I'm sorry. Armor. Are you, hold on. Are you going full Canadian tuxedo though? Denim on denim on denim. Well, it's going to be denim jacket with the overalls that are denim. And then there's a white shirt underneath that. Okay, I was going to say, didn't go with the denim shirt. We, we didn't. And he's going to have a trucker cap. Uh, John Deere, obviously, you know. Uh, but uh, he's going to have a sawed-off shotgun and a thirty-eight revolver with a big knife. Two people with a big knife. <laughs> and as the wrong, old Jim Clancy II, that's his name. Jim Clancy the second. Uh, pronouns he him. I forgot to put that. Uh, they had that in this game for so long before, like most people mm -hmm. started. Yeah. Like before, it was like really big. So I got one charm, zero cool, one sharp, two tough, and negative one weird. So you, you've been wronged, and weird is weird. Yeah. Uh, my my brother Tim Clancy the second. Uh, was murdered by Dangle Vampires, and I I, it, I couldn't save him because I was in denial. That weren't no that. werewolf. I ain't no damn vampires. This ain't no Twilight. And then he's dead. He's like, oh dang. It was I Twilight. <laughs> it was some dang old Twilights. Sparkle vampires. Oh, my, you're eventually just gonna become Boomhauer, aren't you? <laughs> Bang doll, dang vampires, yeah. Dang old, old dang old Twilight and all them fucking Edward Cullen and dang old bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> shooting <laughs> <shots> <laughs> okay, the, the thing I love is because of King of the Hill, Japan now understands the dubs versus subs argument in America. Because there are some people like, oh no, you, you can only watch King of the Hill with Japanese subtitles. You got to hear the American accent. And the whole argument is over Boomhauer. Mm -hmm. Because Boomhauer's subtitles read American gibberish. <laughs> but when they voice act it, you can understand Boomhauer completely. You don't get the dangle thing. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Hank. Sorry, man. You know, and I'm like, leave it to King of the Hill in syndication 20 years later to create this issue. 20. Um, a wrong special when I use oh. luck. Uh huh. Uh, whenever you spend a point of luck, you find a dangerous lead on your prey. And then go in. It crawls. Don't find them. <laughs> you get these vampires. <laughs> the cop over next to you, just no. <laughs> Dang old shotgun go. Don't gotta take about a man. 
It's okay, I got this old revolver. He just takes that too. It's okay, I got this big old knife. He Cop, I can't home. take that. Everybody gets a big old knife. <laughs> it's it's please tell me you got a big old knife. As the chosen, do you have a big old knife? No. Aww. Oh, right. dang. Describe your character for us, Nick. Ron uh, is a young dude, but looks like he's lived far more than his fair share of life. Um, he is the chosen. He counts as invincible. So he's got the uh, the armor ability, right? Mm-hmm. Always so. having two armor. Does not stack with anything else. But does not. And also, fun fact that Spence and I learned. Does not block magic. Mm -hmm. He has a chain that is spiked and heavy and is an artifact. I'm sorry. It is made of silver and he was originally found uh, as a young child wandering the streets uh, by the Flame of Prometheus cult. He is a son of Prometheus. And wields a section of Prometheus chain. That's why he's invincible, because mm. technically he can't be killed. However, his heroics are sacrifice and a mystical inheritance, while his doom is never a normal life and death. Real quick, because uh, I kept seeing it flicker. Zeta, would you turn off the kitchen light oh. uh, by the stove? <clears throat> so, quick thing with invincible. Legit can be killed because he's almost killed. Uh, uh, Was it Dale? Mm -hmm. If you die in play, you must spend the luck point. You come back when you run out of luck. That's oh, over. well, that's something we have omitted. No, no, we haven't omitted that. Because by that I mean we haven't gotten to it yet, but right. I did not know about that. So Dale won't die at first. There's, it's, it's one of the. The basic um, moves. chosen moves is I'm here for a reason. There's something you are destined to do. Work out the details with the keeper based on your fate. You cannot die until it comes to pass. If you die in play, you must spend a luck point. You will then, however, or you will then somehow recover or be returned to life. Once your task is done or you use up all your luck, all bets are off. Oh, well, Dale's about to have stuff go south for him if we ever play that game again. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... We're going to omit the section where it says, how do you know each other? Okay. I can't believe this. I want to know how I know them. Because I have a problem with the section on how you know each other, because it's always, they trained you, they saved you, you saved them, your lovers, your well, family. Well, we can always omit that and just have, like, just spitball. Right. Well, all know. I've said is roughly how all the Targaryens already know each other. <laughs> I'm still not watching the new one, because I don't want to know about the incestuous dragon civil war. Which, by the way, it's Has totally not. It, it, okay, it in action, this looks like it's going to be good because there's going to be Dragon's Bank paying for HBO Max. Especially with it going family friendly and canceling Batwoman with 90% of the fucking movie made. And Michael Keaton as old Bruce Wayne. And Brendan Fraser as Firefly. Are you okay? No, I'm, I'm not okay because I, I was like, I didn't know there was going to be a Batwoman movie because I don't pay attention to stuff. And then Emily informed me immediately of what I have lost without knowing that I had it. Michael Keaton coming back as old Bruce Wayne. Well, he comes Wayne. back in The Flash, but then Yeah, Ed but that TV show doesn't up. count. That TV show doesn't count because The Flash doesn't count. Well, well no, I'm talking about a Flashpoint movie, but then Ezra Miller just beats oh, him up, and then... Uh, well, my, well, Ezra Miller just beats other people up, dude. Dude needs to be Whoa. in jail. Yeah, they they, they, they they cause quite a ruckus. Anyway, let, let's... Uh, Sutton, thank you for correcting the pronouns there. I'm yeah, sorry. No, you're fine. Uh, anyway, so... You find yourselves in the far-off distant futuristic year of 1999. Excellent. It's December 31st. You're it's getting closer and closer to midnight. You're in a Waffle House in Louisiana. Of course we are. It's time. Somewhere off of I-10. You don't remember the name of the little town or the stop. You just remember exit 35 or exit 46, something like that. I'm just going to take that exit right there and get to that Waffle House. Right there. It's one of the first times you've actually seen a mostly empty Waffle House because nobody is in need of its great aid that it renders. Yet, in an hour or two, they'll be full. 
Are we traveling together? No. Okay. This is the jukebox plays. If I could keep time in a bottle, which has been a great break from what was on the radio as you traveled, because all of you got tired of hearing the Will Linium being played on repeat with "Party Like It's 1999" by Prince. There's about six other people besides yourselves. The chef, because if anyone says the griddle master inside the Waffle House is not a chef, they can eat my whole ass. There's a waitress, and there's a teenager who seems very miffed to be here, mopping over in a back corner. There's, an, there's a young couple that seems to not understand that New Year's has not arrived yet. <laughs> because they're time traveling themselves due to the magic of intoxication. They're borrowing time from the new millennium to enjoy today. Tomorrow's going to suck. And then one gentleman messing with the brand new latest piece of technology. Palm Pilot. Damn, man. Can I do the Destiny's Plaything thing? Yes. Rolling weird, which is not going to be great because I have the negative one for that. Are we all negative and weird? <gasps> yeah. yeah. We're going to have so much fun. <laughs> oh, that's, sweet. That's going to be a fiver for me, bro. All right. So give me a second to write down names, <laughs> and then we will address that. Then I, I can uh, basically describe my character's name is Nadine Nad Lambert. That she is usually mixed race, got some mix of Creole and French in her. You know, that she's very light skinned. That if anyone has seen my mom, she's that color. But, and then that she is about mid 20s and stuff. That she is wearing just, you know, casual, kind of like. Not super preppy, but it is somewhat of like a mix between like an outfit tailored for her and just like, you know, it just has some Velma Dinkley vibes to it. <laughs> but a, but, but just basically a sweater vest instead of basically the, uh, you know, that the long turtleneck. And then that her pronouns are she, or she, her, them. They. Okay, just... Continue on. I'm um, still Ron is, uh, as I said, he's easy, youngish uh, adult, but definitely has a weather beaten and beaten up appearance. Uh, still recovering from a black eye or some shit. Um, heavily pierced and tattooed, uh, wearing, it is December, so wearing a full sleeved leather jacket, um, fingerless black gloves. Uh, various ornamental chains hanging from ripped jeans and studded belts. Oh, so you're like a little goth kid. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, it is the because prep, the goth, and so that I can rip. do so that I can do this number right here. Do you have trip pants on? Is the question. What are trip pants? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna have to share. <laughs> you're, you're about to summon the. You're about to summon the actual '90s goth kid over here. Here I am. The shit I used to actually wear when I was that age. I am a late blooming goth. Forgive me for living vicariously through Monster of the Week. No, it's perfectly fine. I, I function as steampunk. That means that yes. I'm a goth that discovered leather. Like they had, they 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 were kind of like uh, jinkos for goth kids. I am I am hot topic walking around in okay. in person. I would probably say that this is a mix between Gap. Uh, what? It wasn't a some kind of urban store at the time. I don't remember names. Urban Outfitters. I, I know, uh, like uh, urban Cumbrian bitch. Uh, no, this kind of urban. Oh. 
There's Fubu. There's Fubu. That there's a. Uh, oh, the, <laughs> I like how you're like this kind of bird. Uh, South South. What's it South? What's it South Pole? Yeah, yes. there there is South Pole. Yeah. The, the opposite of North Coast. <laughs> yeah. Which is pretentious and overpriced. Is it, wait, is it, no, that's North Face. Yeah, North, North Face, Face is, is the pretentious a... overpriced Colorado clubs. Yeah. Okay, so my character uh, is anywhere between their mid 40s to mid 60s. It's very hard to tell because it looks like they've worked on a farm their entire lives. White dude, but pretty uh, tan skin. Uh, until until you roll that sleeve up. Yeah, the until you roll the sleeve. You, 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 if you were to roll oh. up the sleeve, it would blind oh. you with how white it was. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, verily, oh Lord, did shine <laughs> upon us. But yeah. you see, you know, his skin is like leathery. It looks like he spends a lot of days out in the sun. Uh, he reeks of cigarettes and booze. Mm. I say, does he smell like dip? He smells a little bit like dip, but mostly just like cheap cigarettes. Uh, he's wearing a John Deere cap. He's got he's fucking fucking denimed up with this old scratchy denim. Uh, you have a negative three onward if you actually have your hair like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do the fucking anime. devil devil lock. I'm the, anime. The fucking devil lock when you go like no, that, that. That's not a devil lock. That is just Pony the tail. that's just the flaccid mohawk. It's humid. It's Louisiana. Yeah, a mohawk falls, don't stay. That's why you use Elmer's glue like a oh, good... Oh, God, no. But no, if you, I don't want to be goth anymore. If you were to take off the hat, you'd see he's balding. And it's kind of just slicked back a bit because of the sweat, not because he tries. Uh, he has like a five o'clock shadow. Um, and he's currently... You can't see he's armed, but obviously he is. And and also, do you think Wolf House give a fuck at 11.30 at night? No, no, he probably is a fixture at this place anyway. <laughs> Local. Also, I've got to ask a question. Is there a yellow stain between these two fingers? Yeah. Unfiltered. Yeah. Mm. Of course. Okay. And rolls his own cigarettes. And he's currently sitting there eating steak and eggs with a bunch of A1 sauce. He's got his smother covered chunk on the side. Are you in and a booth or at the counter? He's at the counter, and he's gonna have, and he also has like two waffles. That he's just putting to the side. He he's getting himself a meal. Two waffles. He getting it. Two booth. I would say that uh, she is at a booth with just that her three pecan waffles on the side. That the whole shabam of just at the smother covered chunk, and then that coffee cream, and then that it is just like a lot of just paperwork. It's just like. Just can't believe they got me working on the years. Sitting at the other end, like as far away at the counter from the old dude as possible. But every so often looking over at him like waiting for him to acknowledge. At least you're not the type that when you walked in, you went and sat right next to the person that was at the bar. But no. it must been my seat. No. <laughs> um, I did have a five on my... Okay, so let's let's read read your ability. So at the beginning of each mystery, roll plus weird to see what is revealed about your immediate future. On a miss, something bad is going to happen to you. I just have a bad feeling about all this. Say that last part again because I just asked him to check my child. When on a miss, something bad is going to happen to you. Okay. The the ten plus and the seven to nine don't matter anything. Because okay, so I rolled a five. That did you also so, mark I did. It's right there. Oh, okay. So I'm going to tell you that before you got here, you had a dream at the little crappy hotel you were staying in. All right. And you watched the clock hit midnight, and then you saw the, the nukes go off, all that Y2K bullshit you keep hearing about, and you're like, that's not real, that's not real, and all of a sudden, boop, pops in your head. And but I need to stop leaning that far forward. I, I I didn't bring out the big table internet. I have a I have a little, like, folding Wee table. Little Dinner tray thing. Because I don't have to roll shit with this system. It's Anyway, so... All that stuff that you're like, oh yeah, they don't understand how computers work, blah blah blah, this angle. And all of a sudden you keep seeing like explosions and doom and death happening. You see a clock move from two minutes to midnight to midnight. And you woke up in a cold sweat, and it's been bothering you ever since. You're uh 
You're really hoping for a Denny's because you were hoping that moon over my hammy would handle you. But then you remember Denny's fucking sucks. Yep. And there's no such thing don't as Don't sponsor Denny's. us, Denny's. We don't want it. Nah. You just a high-class Shoney's wannabe. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Hashtag I'm sorry. Hashtag I'm not. Hashtag sorry, I'm not. Sorry, not sorry about we what We just lost it. It's like, we oh, have so offended. Denny's is like, fuck you, I was subscribed. <laughs> it was probably just a Yankee, who cares? Oh. Bottle House is over here. Hey baby, I heard you just got dumped by... <laughs> by Denny's. Shut you up, want... Bottle House, you're a Waffle House wannabe. <laughs> so, Waffle House was I'm, I, I'm gonna look at Ron while I'm eating. I'm like, you like that thing over uh, in Buffett? Like Buffett? Ever seen that show? You are ashamed to your people. Hey, do you like. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm just saying, you, you ever watch that show called Buffett the Vampire Slayer where you, you, you know, she go out there, she go do some kickflip and stuff, and then, damn! I was an extra. Sarah Michelle Geller fucked me in the closet. That's weird. I mean, the power dynamics right there, it's just, it's out unheard of. You know, an extra, and then you have a main cast. This is why the hair is here, so you can't see me actually smirking. And you see, that's a big power dynamic, you know? You, you can't you can't have that in a big, big old Bill Tommy. You want to eat both them waffles? I'm going to, you want waffle? Waffle? You're going to die fat. I might die anyway. We all yeah. die someday, you know. Tonight. I might die tonight. Who knows? I might be on the road and someone kill me. Keep talking to me. You're going to die tonight. <laughs> just like an <laughs> eyebrow, just like raise up. Ra 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 raise up from just like mad and just like. Okay, you said you're a regular here, right? Yeah. You would know that the chef is Linjamin Cross with two S's. Linjamin Cross? Oh, sorry, Linjamin Cross with an H. Sorry, Linjamin Cross with an H. What the hell? <laughs> You all know, you know that the waitress is Becky Bo, and that the janitor, you never caught his last name, but that's Calvin. Oh, yeah. Running jokes. <laughs> My character will never not be a fixture in a game. No. No? <laughs> you play four sessions of a Dresden game with this character, and he has continued on for half a decade. You know the first session we have with that character, I got another character fucking stoned. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it's why that he, he keeps on giving Zanya problems. Anyway, oh. Calvin had the good shit. He made people see purple <laughs> goblins falling from the sky. Nice. So, but you know, you know the ones that are here. Y'all are not from here. No. Mm -hmm. no. So you don't you don't know the names. Of course. Well, here you can take. Well, I'm assuming Becky's got a little name tag or something when she come take order. It just says Becky B. Because, and whenever she came by, my name's Becky, Becky B. Well, if you're going to leave a tip, it's Becky B. Don't. The reason I say that is we got a Becky C and a Becky T. I'm going to look down. I don't see any other Beckys. Not tonight, but it's important for the paychecks and for the payroll. Also, 1981, Becky was a popular name. I remember those days. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, everyone was a Becky or an Aiden. <laughs> Dang all Aiden's everywhere. And fucking, or uh, else that a John Hughes or movie John shit. or Kayla. Have ever I seen no John Hughes movie? An egg. Gotcha, honey. And milk. We are fresh out. I'm sorry. Apple juice? Yes. Thank you. I take a swig from a flask. <laughs> <laughs> she comes up and smacks you with a Oh, Ow, dang! <laughs> dang it! Yeah, now, you know you're not supposed to do that in here. You have done gotten in trouble. You're just lucky that the manager is not here. I'm sorry, Becky. Mm -hmm. I, I write a tip. I'm going to check. <laughs> <laughs> she just changes that three into an eight. <laughs> Ooh. That's why you underline that that's stuff. Fair. That, 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 that. It's 1990. If you left a $3 tip on a Waffle House meal, you actually leave it. 15%. Mm -hmm. Not today. You left me a $3 tip. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Hashtag 
tip your white staff. Yes, please. Do so. Or the monsters will get you. Hashtag 20% is minimum. So. All right. I, I, I have finished my steak and I'm going to my waffles now. And I put one waffle on an extra plate. Slide it. Yeah. You're trying to slide it all the way down the 12 <laughs> foot <laughs> counter to the kid on the other side. There you you, you know what? Yeah, Becky has these counters polished pretty smooth. So, also just a waffle slides up into your periphery. Try it with the strawberry. No, try it with the pecans. It's better. <laughs> I feel like I just got adopted and I don't know how I feel about this. So. This is how I'm imagining it, because every Waffle House has the same layout. There's a gentleman <laughs> with a newspaper right here. Because yeah. here's the here's mm -hmm. the here's the whole cook. Right. So he's in this booth. <laughs> You're in the booth that's right there. <laughs> and then there's the like chairs that no yeah. one ever sits in. <laughs> right. The jukebox, the counter, and then the three seats over here right. that are just Before past you go to the, the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> So where's where's the couple that's macking out? They they, they over there. They're, 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 not, they're not making out. They're not being that gross. They're oh, just they're just okay. drunk as fucking a waffle house. Gotcha. It's two thousand. It's like, honey, I'm not you gotta yet. Gotta watch out for that Y two K. I heard it's gonna be bad. So what what does oh, the time you. on the clock actually say? If you look at your watch, it is a quarter till midnight. Fifteen minutes. I'm waiting on my BLT. It's you you see the chef, a rather tall. Thick built African American man cooking. And the second Becky goes back, reaches underneath his hat, pulls out the cigarette that's still partially lit. He's like smoking, just keep her nod back every so often. Becky snitch. <laughs> mm. I'm just like. Oh, it's 1999. We don't have the smoking or non anymore. Right. Or we, we do have smoking or non, but it's all smoking anyway because smoke travels. You can't not. Yeah. yeah. Like back in the day, the Wendy's on 18th Street had the smoking mm -hmm. section that was the down lower yeah. than everybody else. Section Literally, the smoke rises Literally you jackasses. Had, had, had a curved roof on it, so that smoke's just rolling out. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, wild Imagine like how much lung cancer rates are going down because we no longer have that. Okay, raise your hand if you're old enough to remember the little metal ashtrays being in a McDonald's. Damn. <laughs> I, I remember smoking in. It <laughs> <laughs> <That> was beautiful. <laughs> shoom. This whole this whole entire table just shoom. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's how old we are. I remember that shit. Wait, hold on. Who remembers the really brown glass ashtrays at McDonald's. My grandma had one in her house. Okay, my, we didn't have one in the house, but I, my family is noted for stealing little shit like that that was left on a table. That That's how uh, one of my cousins never had to buy ketchup. The dark gray, like, kind of like slate stone ones. Now, I'm just remembering, like, looks like the 70s and 80s, atypical glass. Yeah. Cigarette tray. God. Anyway. Uh, that was a trip down memory lane. Now we I'm all gonna, uh, yeah. I'm going to uh, call Becky over and, and say. As you do that, and just puts it back in the, tucks <laughs> it back in, tries to tuck it back in the hat right so it doesn't set the hat on fire. Mm. Very careful. He's done this a few times. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, I just need another steak. Just cut it up for my dogs. You know how my dogs love the steak. I'm talking about jams. I'm talking about jam, yeah. Alright, yeah, I got you. So, let's see. Which end of the counter are you sitting at and you're sitting at? I'm assuming I'm on, I'm on the left side. Okay, you're on the side near the three booths. Yeah. You're on the far side near the windows. Okay, so give me a sharpness. Who, which, both? Investigate a mystery or read a bad situation? Uh, this is just to see if you notice anything. So just straight sharp. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine? It's a partial success. Uh, with partial success, I'm going to say it. you catch it, but you're not sure you catch it. You're like, the flask. Yeah, that, that the stuff you use to clean the engines and that you make yourself. Uh, 
Like, if you ain't had moonshine, shit, yeah. No cut grease. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, you uh, you look over, and that couple that was obviously in their early 20s now look like they're middle-aged. But then you, you're like, nah, well, but you're not sure. Like, for a second, you think they're old. Or I should say mm. older. Hmm. Something's afoot in here. I mean, I drink it a little I'm bit just saying, with the mixed success, you're not 100 percent sure you saw because they're not acting any different. You're just like, I'm gonna I'm look around at everyone very awkwardly. Now, give me read a bad situation. Oh, that's not bad. Nine, ten. Ten. So that's a success. Yeah, uh, this couple that you definitely fully believe they're probably in their early 20s. You're what? You're seeing gray hairs. You're seeing that there's wrinkles. They seem to be completely unaware. And Becky, who you know just graduated high school, looks like she might be in her mid-twenties. But nobody, nobody seems to... Notice? Notice. Damn, something's wrong in here. And I just go up and look at you. Is that everything all right, sir? Do you want your waffle back? I just look at look at him, and they look okay. Yeah, he looks okay. he looks well. He looks weird, but I mean, okay. looked well, weird to begin with. The mayor's funny character. Anyway, I, I just walk off, and I just start looking around at the bar at, at the people in the uh, booths. Uh. If you look, uh, give me a give me investigative mystery. Yeah, I'm okay. gonna go up. Up now, four, five, six. Oh, and that's seven. So it's a it's a nice success. Yeah. All right, let me read this. You get to hold one. So do we got? Do y'all have these listed no. too? All right, can you get them? Are they in the pile or? I have them. Are they over here? Yeah, too? we used to. Oh, these are all character sheets. Yeah, I used to print them out. Sorry, I forgot to double check if those were on the table or not. Mm. Oh, that's fine. And that's the gate of mystery. Oh, it's this way. Mm -hmm. So you got a list of questions you can ask. What happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can it hurt? Where did it go? What was it doing? And what is being concealed here? And I'm going to say some of these I'm going to tell you you can't ask yet, mostly because they don't make sense to ask. What is being concealed here? Okay, what's oh, being concealed here? Back? Okay, good deal. That's fine. Okay, well, I'm going to say what you can understand that's being concealed here is it's not natural. So you're assuming something magical is happening here, but you're not sure exactly what. Hey, Dewey. Man, magic. Or I could have told you meth. <laughs> what's being concealed here? Meth. No. What, what was the chef's name again? Uh, it is Linjamin Cross. Okay, I'm not going to be mean. Uh, well, you know Linjamin has a bit of a history because Waffle House is the number one hirer. Of, but, he, but he's a good man. He is a good man. He made a mistake when he was 16. It State happened. of Louisiana decided to try him as an adult because State of Louisiana, of course it would. He did his time and now he has been working here straight for now. Straight now. Yeah. Has a family. He's just old dad. I go up to him. I right. you see anything weird going on around here? When he turns around and looks at you, the uh, the little bit of a goatee, and he, he never you you know he will ne he doesn't grow a beard, but also it's one of those he shaves in the morning and then by the evening he's definitely got yeah the stubble, not just five o'clock shadow like. Straight stubble, yeah. And he, it's gray and patched where it's never been before because you know Linjamin's only in his 50s. Yeah. And he just looks at you. What do you mean? What's weird? Oh, shit. Something's going on. Uh, hold, hold on. Say, what's your character's name again? Uh, Jim. Jim Clancy II. And since he's a picture, he would know that he had a bit of a breakdown. Uh, Nadine Nadine Lambert. Nadine. 
Mad Lambert. Okay. Just like, yeah, you all right? You're drinking too much again. No. No, no, no. I can. What's going on? You've been drinking that stuff you take the warts off mules with. Shit. Not Look, today. hey, 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 hey. Just sit down. I'll make you another couple eggs. Let you just sober up a bit, okay? You just... I guess he would know that his brother did die, so... He has a bit of a... Yes, yeah, just, just calm down. You all right? Is, is it a bad day? I'll just go... I'll go back to my seat. All right. Uh, both of y'all roll investigative mystery because there's a crazy old man wandering around in the Waffle House. <laughs> Seven. That's twelve. Seven. So you get to hold one and you get to hold two. Because right. nobody has advanced rolls yet. All right. All right. Uh, Brand new characters. What can it do? That old man? Yeah. That old man, as you're noticing, you notice that as he's moving... The way he kicks his left leg. Yeah, he's packing. That there's a. Well, yes, you notice the the bulge, and then you notice that the other leg. <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> God damn it! I wasn't even talking about that. No. Like, Chris said he's packing. I'm like. Oh. All it is is just a card piece. It's oh. <laughs> It's like sex machine from. Uh, from Dust Till Dawn, or from, uh... Yeah, from Dust Till And there's just, <laughs> that's your revolver right there. Yeah. God, that, I missed that movie. I it's haven't a watched good movie. That. It's a terrible movie, but it's, it's great. It's terrible. It's Danny great. Trejo is a vampire. It's great. <laughs> anyway, what? you notice that, uh, the way he kicks out that left leg, is it a sawed-off, or is it just a regular old... It's a sawed-off. ...that there is a long gun, or there's a long gun in part of those overalls. Like, the way he, like, there's a bulge to the pants... On the outside of the leg, <laughs> uh, and the way he moved, the, you would the, probably also notice a holster. There, there is a holster. Well, you open carry that, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, I mean, this is Louisiana. He open carries a revolver. So, are, are we in the red over there? Are we no, still we're in the, in the green. Okay, just make sure because we have had problems with streaming the last like two weeks because the internet decided to cut up. Anyway, mm -hmm. so you notice that. So, uh, what can it or what can it do? You're assuming that's a long gun and there's a or there's a revolver. Uh, this old man that's acting erratically probably could do some serious harm if he chose to. Basically, well, then you can go ahead and answer your question. What happened here, specifically referring to when he was talking to the cook? Okay, uh, I'll say what happened here, because you'll remember you got a second question too. Uh, it looks like the old man got spooked by something. Like... You're looking at him, and you kind of, and you both kind of get this. This older fella here doesn't seem like he doesn't seem like the kind that flinch easy. He's not the kind that knee jerks or anything like that. So something obviously upset him enough to where he scanned the whole place, looking and knowing for both of you, knowing eyes, and then talked to the, the chef and seemed weird, like initially, because I'm saying, because with you got rolling over a 10, you know, it's like he seemed to be taken back when the guy turned around at first and he was looking him up and down, kind of, the chef kind of weird. I'm going to say y'all don't notice anything different about the chef because y'all don't, you haven't really looked at the, the chef. Yeah. Um, just really quick, uh, since we're technically investigating Jim over here. Uh, what sort of creature is it? Is he human? Looking at him, and with what you fought before, you are a hundred percent certain, beyond the shadow of a doubt, that this is a one hundred percent normal human. I feel like I kind well, of let me rephrase that. There, you, as you start normal, you go normal. Wait, hmm. human. <laughs> You, you just go with, that's yeah, human. Whenever uh, Jim sits back down, I'll start carefully cutting the waffle right along the lines because that's how it goes. Um, and uh, 
They didn't just, want you to cut it that way. They shouldn't have put it in right? there. Yeah. It's guidelines. Yeah. Um, or just do like me and just pick the whole damn thing up and shove it in your mouth like a monster. Uh, like, I'm the individual that bites out of the side. Not the this side, but literally goes in from the side of a Kit Kat. Of course, if you want to be really, you just want to really hate yourself in the morning, you can turn it into a breakfast taco by putting eggs and bacon. No, see, that's tasty. That's, that, that's good. I'm, I just, but it's also like I just did that to just see what calories. Mesa's response would be, because I cannot, I cannot just pick up a completely covered syrupy waffle and shove it in my mouth. But I can eat a Kit Kat 100% the wrong way to make people uncomfortable. You're a no, monster. monster. We're killing you next time. <laughs> the candy man cometh. Um, Who can make sunrise? Uh, sprinkle so it as, 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 as Jim is sitting back down, his leg is kind of going back and forth. Is it doing just, the? Like, is it doing the? Yeah, the the you know, and he's just scanning the uh, bar, cutting cutting waffle. And I'm not gonna speak loudly enough to like call too much attention, but just kind of. Thanks for the waffle. You doing all right there? Mm. I basically get get you know that my now one waffle and then just the rest of my hash browns. Move them over and then y'all just see that this apparently looking Poindexter looking uh, individual going over there and just like, sitting like kind of like sandwiching Jim in. We're gonna be yeah. well. We're gonna wait until he gets back. I don't think I don't think no. Jim's gonna be sandwiched though because he's on one end of the bar and I'm at the other. Yeah, you're, oh, okay. you're he, old man, where you, old dude, dapper old man reading a newspaper. You. The bar. Ron. Mm-hmm. Jim. Jim. Oh. Empty booth. The couple. Calvin Moffin. That is it, uh, like another free just stool? Over there. Yeah, there's, there's, there's oh. like eight of them. Oh, okay. Then I just get in, uh, and then I just get up in just a middle one. Okay. You're middle just one closer get... to Jim. Okay. Give me just a second. Get back. Okay, let me check my child while he's up. Uh, child check. Get one of these. Wobber, melon, gum, and burp. Y'all yeah, don't see nothing. See how bad my sour reflex is going to be today. I like sour for a little bit, and then it starts cutting up my mouth, and I'm like, "Okay, All right. so you move in between them." Yeah, and then I, I you, yeah. so go, I was going to say, you notice the uh, how is she dressed again? Kind of like halfway casual, halfway kind of just kinda like, like a business casual. Yeah, yeah, be, be, but like it's kind of like a tailored business casual. Almost. Okay, kind of so, like preparatory school. So maybe more like you were at work earlier today and you literally are trying to finish up work while eating at Waffle House. So like you're in like your business wear, but like the tie would be loose kind of. Yeah. Okay. Just I kind almost of have like, a little bit more disdain for that character than Ron because it's, it looks like a city slicker over there. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm just going to put oil up on this jacket. <laughs> that, you know, I got some sedative if you need that. Well, did you just offer the old man drugs? Set a give. Set a give. Set a give. Set a give. I got a suppository for you if you need Is it. Is something going on that you've been walking around here quite often? I just stare at you. I stare back. You know, both of you roll... Let me look over here. You know what? You're. We gotta do two set of rolls. Okay. So, 
One of you needs to roll investigate a mystery while the other one rolls cool. I would do cool. Oh, no, no. Oh. You're staring. Okay. That, so roll cool. Because what is it? What's underneath cool? Act under pressure. Act under okay, pressure. Okay, this is an act under pressure while you're doing investigate a mystery. Holy shit. So you got that experience? Yep. Would, so would you roll? I got double one for. Oh. So I had that experience. I couldn't investigate a mystery. Okay. I got a 10. So yeah, you're staring at the old man, and the old man is just staring back at you with a face that has stared in the sun and made the sun blink. <laughs> okay, yeah. now, reverse that. Investigate a mystery, act under pressure. That's a little better, but that's a 9. Investigate a mystery? 7. 7. Okay, so, you're staring at this, uh, this Creole lady. And trying to read her, she's trying to read you. And you both realize you both have really good fucking poker faces and can't figure out what the other one's fucking thinking. Can I watch them having a stare off while I'm eating my waffle? Yeah, you're totally doing it. And then Becky. Well, Becky has a couple strands of gray hair now. I saw her before when she took my order. Do I notice Same. the difference? Yeah. And she just brushes her hair back. She looks like she might be somewhere in her mid to late 30s. You know her mama went so gray she was before she was 30. Then she went 30. Said so she had a uh, Steve Martin sort of deal. Yeah. Her, her mama went gray really early, but she's just got a couple gray hairs. She has really beautiful smile lines. Becky? Yes. You fresh out of college or something? No, I graduated college years ago. It's just that, you know, I went and got my, went to get my bachelor's and ended up getting an MRS and ended up getting a divorce. No. No. You just got out of high school. No. Uncle Jim, you know that I graduated years ago. You're the one who had to, you were the one who fixed the tire on my, on my vehicle when it blew a flat when we were heading out to the party after that. Oh, he's just... She leans over to... He's got a little bit of Alzheimer's. He goes, how about I get you some more eggs? All right. All right. Becky, <laughs> I'm good with eggs. Becky, you doing anything fun for the new year? Oh, yeah. it's I'm working. You see, I'm working. This is so much fun, right? All the other ones quit. You also notice that her name tag doesn't say Becky B anymore. It just says Becky. I'm going to sit in there like this. Kind of take off the hat and like the sporadic, like balding. Have I got my BLT yet? Yeah. How's my BLT look? It's totally rotten. This shit was made third. No, it's, it looks like a perfectly fine BLT. I'm going to read a Whatever is happening here does not affect the fine food at an establishment such as Waffle House. Waffle House may be an interdimensional hellhole, but the food is amazing. That's what we're getting out of this. No, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, if you ever clip back out of the back rooms, it will be into a Waffle House. I think that's quote book worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to read a bad situation. Okay. Nope. I feel like with your neg one sharp, that's not your role here. I know it is not. <laughs> Everything is, well, y'all are starting to notice this is weird, but as you look at the folks that are here at the counter, y'all aren't, the old man still looks ragged, but ragged, but not older. The business lady doesn't look like she's going into upper management. What about the guy behind the newspaper just to my right? Okay, that dude had gray hair to begin with, and he's just reading the newspaper, and everything seems fine for him. But at the same time, it's kind of like Morgan Freeman. He was born old, as far as you know. Can I, can I see anything different about the newspaper? Could I, can I see the date on the newspaper from where I'm at? Roll me sharp. Eight. Eight. For a split second, you think it says December 31st, 1863. But you're like, as you kind of shake your head, like, what? And you're looking at it, it says 
December 31st, 1999. I'm going to start cutting across off my BLT and trying to process. <laughs> I'm going to get up and slowly walk towards the door. To, to leave? Just to look outside. Okay, so you, look, you look outside? Yeah. Everything looks normal. I mean, let's be honest. If we're talking about there being a massive time skip on anybody... Their cars are going to stay the same because I'm still driving a 23-year-old vehicle. So, I mean, nobody's car, like, nothing seems more rusted or anything. The parking lot seems fine. I'm going to be the weird old man and just look around the outside of the building. Just do, like, a... Okay, so you're going to... Jim, 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 are you going to pay? Jim, are you going to pay? I put my wallet down and walk back out. Benjamin. God damn, it's another one of those nights with him. So uh, give me an investigative mystery while you're doing that. Uh, and then roll it. And what'd you get? Investigative mystery? Yeah. Six. So Six. mark that experience. Everything out here looks fine. In fact, you get slightly distracted as well. Your tire seems a little low on air. You're like, God damn it, I'll run over another man. I like, look under the top. There ain't no raccoon. <laughs> Just not. Goddamn Tom Nook selling me bald ass tires. <laughs> All right, for the two of you that are inside, the old man just goes outside and you see him. Oh shit, my tires. <laughs> look, and just like go over there and start working on that. So y'all are still in here. Everybody else is still inside the Waffle House. With Jim not on that end of the bar anymore. The couple that was macking in the corner. Uh, yeah. They're completely gray-headed. Gonna kind of sit, start scooching from from bench to bench until I can get over on her side. <laughs> Making sure I bring my apple juice with me. Um, you, get, you get three chairs and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> get, get over uh, closer and... Um, Push half the BL, half of the crustless BLT onto like a spare mm -hmm. plate or something over her side. You get the feeling that something ain't quite right. Something's not quite right here. I mean, that just that our waitress was just a high school and then she had looked like that she had basically had been through a lot of life and back. I'm gonna, like, as I'm reaching for my uh, apple juice cup. I kind of point toward the, the couple in the corner. Ah. All right. I see that. I guess this is why we don't drink alcohol, ain't it? Mean that. Mean that. Sometimes I drink, sometimes I don't. Go ahead. Yeah, if you, like, see a... If you glance outside, you see Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Using the air compressor that's in the back of the truck because there's all that shit in the back right, of the truck. That, I guess then that is going to be paid over time anyway. Yeah. So. He, he got the, uh, what is it, the Jeepers Creepers truck looking? It's just all the shit that is necessary. Yeah. It's a farm truck, dude. That, it is literally yeah. a farm truck. Like, you've got, God damn, why I got a pitchfork? <laughs> that the name is Ned, by the way. Ron, what's my watch say? When you look at your watch, it says that you're at 10 till midnight. I pull my PDA light. Can I look at the, the clock over the kitchen? Ten till midnight. Mm. All right. And look back down the bar at the, the guy with the newspaper. He still looks the same. So the only one that's not changing is us and the guy with the paper. I can go in and approach him. I don't actually know if that's picking. I, I said the only one that's not changing is the guy, us, and the guy with the paper. Um, I don't know if my, right. my whispers are picking up on that. All right. So I basically like uh, walk up over, you know, just basically leave just a fifty dollar bill at the table and write and just write Becky on it. Just mm -hmm. basically go, just basically just go up to uh, the uh, just go up to the gentleman and. Is it anybody like around a newspaper? It's just there's he's just looking at the newspaper. Oh, how are you doing that this fine night, sir? 
I'm watching from my corner of my eye while I'm eating my sandwich. No response. No response. Is he, now does he like, with just my, with just, with just, with just, with just that, with just the, that me being a medic, does he like look like he's breathing at all? Give me read a bad situation. Because if you're checking to see if someone's breathing or not, I don't think that's investigating a mystery. Personally. I mean, they're, oh the, they're the same stat, in a way. Like, oh no. Yeah. Oh, jeez. You don't know that this is a big honking newspaper from the 90s. Like, not the little weak ass shit we get today yeah. that has like eight things and says, use this QR code to check our online site. Damn, y'all in jail. That, I'm sorry, Dice. Bye. We'll see you on Thursday. As I get done tending to my truck and drinking, I come back in and get my wallet. And it's like, oh, I couldn't roll, roll me a tough real quick. Tough? You've been drinking. Seven. Nine. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. You're buzzing really heavy, so there might be some things I throw a random Ranch disadvantage. It at you, so roll three, keep the two lowest. Yep. Uh, but you're not drunk, you're just you can feel it because you just decided to drink like from the Offerman liquor jar, okay? Yeah. Like I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna go inside, pay for my stuff, get my wallet, leave, and go home. I'm probably just... Inside your head you just realize that Becky's gotten this old. You dogs. Oh no, not jam. <laughs> now I'm just thinking about my dogs. My dogs. Going to head back to Ron and being like, I could not get, I just couldn't get a word out of them. I walk in, get my wallet, and I'm walking around y'all. Want my dogs. Oh. Okay, okay all of y'all roll me weird. Okay. That's not going to be great, fam. We're all at next one. Oh my god. Hey! Now I'm going to say, if you fail enough to level up, you can go ahead and level up during the game. Oh I have a seven. Eight or from Decatur. Got okay, so this is a mixed success. So, both of you see something out of the corner of your eye for a second. Almost like the squiggly lines that you can occasionally see in your vision at the very edge floating over here. Little and floaties. then it's gone. Yeah. Mm. But there's a smile on it. You don't know much else about what you just saw, but you saw a glint of teeth. And it's gone. I pull out my revolver. <laughs> As you do that, Linjamin just grabs your arm. That something's in here. <laughs> Jim, 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 no. As you're looking at him, he has a full white beard. What are they doing to you? Just... Now, I've seen him turn around and talk to the guy before. Yeah, so you know not, y'all good. are noticing that. The, yeah. Okay, one, you, everybody knows the phrase black don't crack. Right. He's got wrinkles, and, and where he normally just had a five o'clock shadow, there's a light, thin, solid white beard. It's like, you, Jim, 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 come try and kill you. Jim, no, Jim. Jim put I'm away. a Jim. Hang on, vampire. Jim, <laughs> Jim, Jim, I know what happened to your brother. It's, it's all right, Jim. Deep breath, Jim. Deep, no, 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 Jim. Deep breath. I gotta go check on my dogs. They are fine. Elroy and Delroy are fine. You do not know either of these dogs' names. Can I? You need to calm down. We don't need another mm-hmm. situation. Yeah, I like, don't know anybody inside anymore to help you again. Just put it away and nobody saw anything. Alright? Okay. Hey. Hey. You gonna see you at church on Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Just just sit down. How about I get you a glass of water, Jim? Can I reach for the napkin? It- can the napkin dispensers be the aluminum shiny side? Kind? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're totally that. I want to, as he's like getting Jim back to a seat, I want to hold that up as a mirror in the guy's face and say, you see yourself? Yeah, I'm a silver fox. Been that way for a few years. Uh, well, at least that's what my wife tells me. We were in here ten minutes ago and you weren't. Just Becky. 
he asked for apple juice. I'm not sure what he had before he got in here. I'm 19. I don't drink. Linderman just kind of looks at you. That Holding it up to Becky now. <laughs> Becky, she's like, she just smiles and fixes her hair a little. What's that guy's name over there reading the paper? Is he a regular? Oh, that's, that's Mr. St. Germain. Hey, Mr. St. Germain. Does he respond? No. Getting up going over there. I'm keeping the, the napkin dispenser. I'll go over there and I want to pull the paper down and then look at his face. It is a desiccated corpse. Oh! Ten minutes ago I was a living man reading a newspaper. Now he's a mummy. Becky screams. I pull out my gun again. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> lends me. God damn it, Jim! You fire at me and you're going to have chain in your teeth. No, I was me. pointing at the corpse. I'm, just, over, I'm over by the corpse. He just puts... Just stop, stop, Jim, Jim. No. So, Ned. Mm hmm. He's dead. Oh. Did, wait, did you introduce yourself yet? Yeah, I okay, introduced okay. him. He's dead. Well, Something going on here. Listen. Yeah, right. Something right. All of a sudden, you just hear laughing coming from back by the yeah. bathroom doors. Immediately, just. And as you turn and look, there is this. Still dressed the same, so y'all get to see Calvin in his mid thirties, still looking like he's trying to dress like he's in high school. <laughs> like, but the, the hairline's gone back just a little bit. Oh. The curly hair, it, like he's not gone gray, but the curly hair is wilder. <laughs> and he's just like, I got you. I got that. The spirit of Halloween. So I've been waiting, waiting for this shit. Can I? Oh, let's screw it. I'm a goth kid. I want to reach and actually touch the skin of the thing. Does it feel like a prop or does it feel like real flesh? Roll me investigate, mister. That's cocked. Hang on. Uh, that ain't going to be great. Marketing experience? Yeah. As far as you know, you're like... You don't know the difference between cold-ass latex and dead human skin to save your life. I jump out and I pull him up to the wall. It's like, why are you going to do this? Why are you going to trick us like this? I'm just like slamming. Just <laughs> roll, roll kick some ass. Roll kick some While ass. While that's happening, I just kind of want to deadpan over to Nat. So what would you say you do for a living? I am somewhat of a medical expert. <laughs> You knock Calvin the fuck out as you take him, boom, and his head hits the, the bulletin board with, like, all the fucking birthdays and employee of the month shit and, like, mm -hmm. the Little League team they're sponsoring. Calvin said, boom. Oh, shit. Going Not again. Over, going just, over to the body and basically, oh, shit, it took 10 I just place him gently on the ground. Right. Basically going to, like, try to investigate this. Okay, uh, I will still say this is read a bad situation. Okay. I'm, I'm giving you some boost. That's six. Good God. Ah. You're going to fail your way into a success here One, eventually. Two, three, four, five. You're, One, you're sitting there like, hey, more. get get you. You got when you When six. you get, it's five boxes, that's five marks, you're good. Yeah, you get to pick a new move or take a level up. Oh, okay. So just look at that way you're doing that. So you're looking at the body and you, you can't make hide or... You know, hide. <laughs> can't make hide or tails of this. I just place him down. You just put him in the other booth. And hey, the, Jim. The the elderly couple. Yeah. That is sitting there. The uh, the older woman having to adjust the dress that she would definitely spill out of due to age and gravity. Uh and not use of tape <laughs> uh, is adjusting herself and the, he just said remember our first date when we came here baby oh my god and she's just like I remember the bathroom honey. oh jeez something, that is, something that, going that's on creepy here. and gross and in that yeah it's totally fucking gross it, have you not dealt with people at a goddamn yes, waffle house I have. late at night yes I have well Nat is going to come up to Jim and like now, why did you have to go do that? That you just making my job harder. I'm gonna look at her just like again. 
Nope, no change, right? It ain't affecting you. No. It ain't affecting you either. Something's going on. Yeah, I mean that... He'll be fine. I've done it before. I mean that... We will get to that later. How old was fucking 16, my dude? <laughs> Have y'all noticed anything strange going on? Aside from him? Yeah. And them? And yeah. them? And that? Yeah? Hey. What? It doesn't do that. <laughs> Hello, I'm a corpse. I'm the way to do. While Calvin's unconscious, could I stare at him for a couple of minutes and see if he's aging before my eyes? Roll me. Roll me. Investigate a mystery at disadvantage. Roll three, take the two lower. Yes. Come on, all sixes. Now, for uh, five. Mark that XP. Mm hmm. What did you take? I had uh, took uh, Tactical Genius. When you read a bad situation, you may roll cool instead of sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Work the system! Play that game right. <laughs> so, you lay Calvin down. You're staring at him. You're like... It'll be real awkward when he wakes up and I'm staring at him. Like you're this. sitting there like, within like about five, six seconds, you're like, bored. Bored. He looks like he's like almost bored, bored right? Am I right? He's supposed to be like 16, though. But he's he was supposed to be... Dang, dang old, dang old yeah, teenager. That he, was, that he was... he Wait, that he was a teenager? Dang old teenager over there. Did, did a whole bunch of drugs. He, he said something about teenager. vampires earlier. Jinky, something is going on. God damn it, Spence. Put the hand of Barbera away. It has its place. It's not here. Hey, I mean, that was my childhood cl classic cartoon, okay? Oh my God, y'all are so old. I mean, not as old as these folks right here. Something going on. I here. mean that. Other than that, you know that you know that the. Hey, Becky. Oh, <laughs> watch my child looking suspiciously into the room. <laughs> Vincent, you good? Yes. But. At least there wasn't a breaking noise. I mean that. Good. That you know that y'all are swear that y'all haven't seen anything out the norm, other than Jim. To find out the norm. Anything, you know, like... I mean, technically, y'all two are out the norm for here. That you know, that the kind business. of work that I kind of do, we deal with... And dang, old, dang old accountant over there? We did... Do some accounting? No, we deal with... Uh, computing? How do you say it? Uh, paranormal, in a sense. Paracomputing? Could I see your flask? I want to walk into the kitchen and dump it. <laughs> <laughs> do you allow this? I'm just like... You just had this random teenager your class. Hey, he's from like the 60s. I mean, 18-year-olds used to drink back in the day. Yeah, like when she said, I'm 19, we don't drink. Everybody else in the restaurant's like, just like... <laughs> sure. I want to walk into the kitchen, unscrew it as I go, and start glugging it Did into the Did you just sink. let him walk off with your... Like, I mean, you gotta go through, one, the bathroom doors, then the double doors that go back into the kitchen. Unless you're going back around the bar and around the bar in a giant sea. That'd put more distance between me and the guy I just stole the flask from, so and sure. Until you get back to where Calvin's in a booth, and then you're, like, literally six feet with, like, a three-foot <laughs> sort of wall. <laughs> I am going I to... I think you just don't my mood, Sean. I mean, uh, Unless you went to the anyway. sink that was in... The grill, not the scullery kitchen. But you didn't need yeah, it anyway. Uh, okay, so you did yeah. that, and you just see... Benjamin looks at you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. right, then, he has a problem. Going to, uh, there, going to like, lift up Calvin and... As you're pouring, pouring it, there is way more in there than you... Like, it's just going for a minute. You're like... How? <laughs> Every, even you're like, God damn, I thought it was a six-ounce <laughs> flask. I mean... No wonder I'm fucked up. What time, <laughs> is, what time is it, by the way? Uh, it is 11.59. And with, with that entirely emptied out, I'm checking my watch. Reading a bad situation. Mm -hmm. and I just want to lean against the counter and wait and see what happens. Okay, that's good. 11. Because either I'm going to die or we're Holy all going to die. Holy shit. You got an 11? Yeah. I got double sixes. Oh, you roll, you roll boxcar? Yeah. All right. So I got... 
read, read a bad situation plus you want, so it's a 13. So I'm going to say this. Before y'all asked you questions, you realize it right as it's about to happen, but not with enough to stop it. The hands hit midnight. The TV that's in there, all of a sudden you're watching the ball drop. The older, the elderly couple coughs, and you hear one of them, baby, baby, baby. And then you're in the far off distant futuristic year of 1989. On the radio, you hear Prince playing. You're going to party like it's 1999, but it's still 10 years from now. Oh, damn, I'm 25. Y'all, as you're sitting there in the exact positions you were in moments ago, maybe 30 minutes ago. Am I now a nine-year-old kid? No, you're still physically the same. Oh, so we, we Groundhog Whoa. Day? You Groundhog Day, but 10 years back, and there's a couple dressed in the gaudiness that is the fashion of the 80s. So are, are we back on where we started or are, or are we where you, we were when the ball dropped? You are, you're on this end of the bar. Jim's on this end of the bar. You're booth. in a booth. There's a man reading a newspaper that says December 31st. I was, leaning, I was leaning against the counter like this. Am I falling my ass out of this booth seat? No, you're just all okay. of a sudden in the chair you okay. were in before. Everybody's in the position you were when the game started. Okay. What the? Becca Have comes by. Changed? Huh? Have our clothes changed? No. You're still dressed the exact same. And Linjamin's there. He looks much younger. You remember when he got hired, and that was back in the 80s. He, he's been at Waffle House for almost 20 years. What time is it? You're looking at it, it's quarter till midnight. Quarter till midnight. Party like it's Can I... Without really looking, I want to see if I can tell that these two are where they were before. Yes. I'm not going to make you roll for that. You see that they're there. I just want to... This seems really sketch, and I don't want... It's like, I know, oh, no, I know the I'll, risks. The, the, the game master will go ahead and tell you. This is 100% sketch. I, Every If whatever your gut feeling is to... Now being ten years in the past from when you were in this bar or this uh Ron Ron is thinking if I say something wrong or if I draw attention the wrong way and they don't actually remember things, then I'm back at square one. Okay. So I'm trying to come up with a code, something signally that if they do remember everything, then I'll know and then they'll know I know without saying anything that will alert anyone else. I, I'm just gonna straight up be like it's mm-hmm. fucking weird. Something's going on. There are no You're sitting here like, I'm going to have an effective <laughs> system. The old red dead. I don't know what the fuck's you happening. You see that there are no knowns and that there are no unknowns. Your, your, your PDA is now a 1980s Zach Morris cell phone and a notepad. Jim. Something's happening. Ron. Might be in the dangle vampires. Dango Buffy. I mean, that. <laughs> I feel, I had just feel like that we had just been stargated. Do you, do you still have your flask? A check? You, you, you do. Give me that. Mm-hmm. No, give it. We're okay, uh, roll charm person. Oh, you, you're rolling, uh, act under pressure. Seven. <laughs> You're fine. You do not give that flask up. I'm like, All right, look, I saw what happened last no, time. No, no, don't. Just don't promise me you're not going to drink any of it because we can't afford to have you out of your wrong mind. People always say I'm in my wrong mind. Full capacity. Don't drink. As you're talking, Becky walks up and it's not a hard name plate, it's a sticker. This is Becky, but it's an eye with a heart above it. Oh, she just got hurt. It's my mom's name, Becky with an eye. But she comes up, Hi, Uncle Jim, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be back over getting ready for the tractor pull. We're taking a break. It's a little toasty out there. Well, you ain't doing a tractor pull dress like that. You're going to ruin all them fancy clothes. I'm cheering Jim on. Likewise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Jim, you're into weird shit, but I love you still. Anyway, uh, can I get y'all anything? Anything else before we're we're not supposed to, but it's about to be 1990, and you know, like we're all gonna go out and have a little bit of fun, so we're trying to close everything up just a little bit. Would I remember this? No. Okay. Like Becky is should not be a teenager in yeah, 1989. Yeah. Like. She would be like a child. Yeah, like, she she literally would be ten years younger. She'd be eight years old. How about a BLT? All right, I can get that. Mr. Cross? Yeah. Mr. Cross? Oh, I was thinking, okay. Going to approach the uh, old man reading the newspaper. Okay. Mm. Hello. No response. Just pull down the newspaper. You are looking at a desiccated corpse. Can I investigate said yes. desiccated corpse? Yes. Uh, give me read a bad situation. Ten. Ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ask a question. Okay. Uh, going to oh wait, read a bad situation. Oh. I am going to ask, uh, what is, what are the dangers we haven't noticed yet? Something killed this dude. You're looking at this corpse, and it looks like it has been dried out. Something killed this man and left him this way. Like, so you don't, or, so for dangers you haven't noticed, whatever did this, because it's not natural, mm -hmm. is nearby. Somewhere. Okay. Uh, is Becky in the vicinity? Be okay. No, this Becky's on the over here taking your order, and she just got up and walked over to the dead dude. Well, I mean, I was on the corner. I was on the corner of the bar right. near the dead dude. So if Becky's over there making my order, then Becky. Becky not. brought the order over there. She's not over near the dead body yet. Okay. Or else I would have had an NPC screen. Okay. What is the biggest uh, threat? You're still pretty sure the biggest threat is Jim, who has a shotgun shoved down his pants. Okay. Nice and who is act like you understand why he's acting erratically. But it's just. But he's acting erratically. All right. Best so, way. I mean, Y'all known each other for a grand total of fifteen minutes. Fif about fifteen minutes, minus a decade at this point. So I don't know how that math adds up. Can I just go up to the body and just like... Oh, like no, no, no. More. She, let, let her oh, finish yeah. her thing. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought... Best way to protect the victims. I'm not sure. Going to you, basically... Uh, okay, let me rephrase it. You're not sure, but you feel investigating this body will give you a better idea of what you need to do for the victims. All right. Going to... Because you can't, you can't okay. save him. Right. Going to cover he's it dead. back up, make him, make him seem like that he's reading still. Just going to just uh, like go over to like uh, Ron and Jim and just go like shove a shove a fork in I each want, sleeve so those wrists go back to being stiff to hold up the newspaper. I want to look down the way at Calvin. Calvin has the dumbest flock of seagulls haircut you've ever seen. He is wearing his Waffle House. Uh, yeah, it's 1989. You can legally smoke in the Waffle House now, 100%. Uh, he's sitting there. He's like, Sue Ellen has a party I could be at. And Lynchman, I'll tell the manager and you'll be fired. Little Peckerwood, like, you probably need some money to go to college anyway because your daddy can't pay it. Because you're doing his job, just not at the same restaurant. Like, like, Savage Burn from the ex-con that has been here a few years. I just light up a cigarette. Mm -hmm. You got, hey, you got another one of those? Take it, hold on. Is this just a cigarette or is this the other stuff you make? It's just a cigarette. All right. <laughs> he just lights it <laughs> off the grill and puts it. Yeah. He just goes over to the, one of the burners. That they put the like the one fucking skillet on, mm. lights it, and then goes back. And you just see back. I told you that's gonna kill you. Not 
can they? It's not. The jukebox switches over and you hear suit, suit, studio. Um, whoa, time frame. Whoa. She looks at his bow, 47, 48. We need to investigate whatever this is causing fast. I, I can look around a little bit. How we gonna, On how the we, body. How we going to do that without anybody knowing that we're looking at the old man? Uh, I can basically pull rank a little bit if I need to. I can cause a distraction. You can cause a distraction. And That's all you basically. <laughs> Hang on. I want to turn and look. Ron drives a VW Rabbit, obviously black. Is it still outside? Yep. Um, I mean, my beat up ass truck doesn't look like it's. It looks the exact <laughs> goddamn same. There's four less dents. Alright. What year model is your truck? 1954. Alright. So that'd be one, two, that'd be three more, four more before we'd see if it wasn't even here anymore. My VW is a 60 something, so. 1986 uh, Volkswagen Bug. There we go. So. If it goes back one more time, we need to look for wherever you parked or where's your vehicle. Look it's just there, like right out up in the All right. front. All right. Hey, we squeezing that thing? Yeah, and it's, it's tiny. Oh yeah, and then it's something else also is in there too, up in the trunk. Body? Jesse? No, not a body. I look at you again. Body droppers. <laughs> not body droppers. Yes, body droppers. Body droppers. But the body. Go in. like more so like. <laughs> Oh, like this. Oh, that that old <laughs> shit you got? God damn! <laughs> 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 just pulls out the gun. I'm surrounded by idiots. Um, what? Uh, do the pull rank thing then, because I mean, otherwise, okay. it's just gonna be right. I don't, I don't know what the fuck that means. You go crazy and in that you will see. I promise. I, I promise. I won't hurt you. I asked you not to. Try. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Check to see if he's still watching Spider Man. Okay. Spider Man, Spider Man does whatever a Spider can. Does he swing from yes. a web? No, he doesn't, because he's a Spider. Whoa, whoa! He just sits on the shelf and stays warm. He's a he's a pie. He's a pie, pie, pie maker. Pie maker. Pie maker. Yeah, he makes pizza. Uh, let, let me check. Let me check how much I'll. Pie, pie, it's quiet. Pie, 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 did you go play in your room because your TV show stopped and I've never felt more seen in my life? Be, care be careful! <laughs> Just like... It's like as soon as you attempt to even grab a hold, he's just like, no! Yeah. And then it, it's always like every single time it's that I play, it's, it's just like up here, and I'm like, I guess I'm comfy. And then each time something happens, he's... My living room is destroyed. And it happens. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really glad he likes the movie Lightyear. <laughs> uh, people can die salty about that one. Uh, how if she's a lesbian does she get pregnant? It's called artificial insemination. Also, it's called the goddamn future. You can do anything in the fucking future. In the future. It's a good movie. What movie? Lightyear. Oh, cool. It, it's okay. I've never seen it. I, I just know some weirdos got mad about it. Mm-hmm. Some some dude bros and neck beards are yeah. like, got mad because Lightyear's boss is a woman, and, and then she's, she's a, a lesbian. lesbian. Buzz completely cool with it. Which, by the isn't way, this it, is this isn't is supposed it like to be a scene that can just be edited out too. It's not even like then oh. it's she's pregnant at some point with her wife, and so I was like, this is trying to say women can get each other pregnant. Like it's called goddamn artificial and got. It's basic biology. Also, you don't know if if the woman that she's in love with is trans or not. If the yeah. woman is trans, then voila, it's perfect. At the same time, here's it the does not matter. Here's the thing that I made a comment though. It's like this is supposed to be the movie in 1996 that Andy loved fully and made him buy the light year action figure. Exactly. I'm like, like 1996 had like we openly support lesbian couples in a movie. I'm like that is the most progressive fucking kids movie ever. We need more of those in 1996 yep. so that today we don't have the problems we got. Yep. Let's go back in time and make as many lesbian-friendly movies in 1996 as we can. 
Hold on, y'all are 1989. We've yes. overshot that shit. Exactly. We are going oh, to be fuck. killed. We're in John by, Hughes territory. We're going to be killed by Ronald Reagan personally with this shit. Okay. If he remembers what to do. Hey, oh, okay. Uh, wow. Just give me a minute. Just. We don't have a minute. We don't have a minute. God damn, man, Ross. You have Pick twelve. Yeah. You, have, <laughs> you I, have twelve. You have twelve of them. I, I flip the chair. Ten years. And oh I start God, throwing. Really? my stuff. I'm like, damn, what's that? What's that damn Dracula's everywhere? Be- <laughs> Becky goes, he's doing it again. And Benjamin just turns around. I got this. Holding a skillet. Looking at you. Now it's a skillet that has fucking bacon in it. Jim. <laughs> I- I'm just going rabbit at Jim, yeah, you just hear just that, a click at that the back of your head and just say, federal agent, do not move. I will blow off your damn head. He just drops the skill. Oh, fuck. I've done nothing illegal in the last 15 years. I'm going to sit I ain't growing no marijuana. (laughs) 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 I'm just going to sit my apple juice and pretend life is fine. All right. Now, you are going to come with me over to this other side. Becky, Lingerman, I may need some assistance. Lingerman's sitting there like... Trust me. You, I, trust, tr- not a trust me. I, can I ain't clear, going back to jail. I can clear your record. I plead the fifth. You want that? Let's go. I ain't do nothing. Okay, so what are you wanting to do, Nab? Now that you have the old man <laughs> who said he was going to make the distraction at gunpoint. Just basically... And the, wa- and the, and the Waffle House nighttime staff... <laughs> No, that I am basically acting under pressure to get them. Okay, roll me act. Back. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna say this is not so much act under pressure, but a charm. But a manipulate someone. However, I'm gonna give you advantage because you've held a whole ass person at gunpoint. You have a hostage situation. That's a seven. Okay, that's a you mixed even success. Even add advantage. Yeah. Damn. So. On seven through nine, they'll do it, but only if you do something for them right now that shows that you mean it. Do not shoot Jim in the back of the head. <laughs> okay. You, you have, but like, you have a badge or something, right? Yes. Okay. She okay. just basically just uh, basically still holding it, just at one hand, just flip and just flips it out. Full name. Uh, 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 all right. What, what do you need me to do? What do you just. Need? Both of y'all, come over here. Jim, I need you to go sit down over just uh, by that this lovely couple over there across on the other booth. I try to sit down, but the shotgun in my pants is like... Big. This I'm is like, why you go to a stool instead of... <laughs> instead like, of hold up, let me just do this real quick. Let me just remove this long arm from the <laughs> pants. All right, then, then that we are just going to have to just uh, settle down, take your front step. That you know that we only got about five minutes until that the new year, and then none of us want to do paperwork. Understand? I, I have no idea what's going on anymore. How you doing, Becky? I'm sorry about this. You know them vampires. She's Somewhere? just she's just also got her hands up, and now is going in the same direction as. Well, they're doing that man. shit. Um, could I? Attempt to. Could I attempt not? I don't know. Let me see here. To contact either my cult, the the Flame of Prometheus, or something to that effect for potential assistance. There is a payphone over in the hallway by the bathrooms. I don't know if my cult, the Flame of Prometheus, would use payphones. They probably have a phone number. They, they got a toll yes, free number. Yes, in 1989. <laughs> now, if this was 1889, well, yes, the cult of Prometheus totally has a phone number. It's two. We didn't quite beat out the Church of Latter day Saints that got number one. All right. The president um, got three. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go over to the paper. How are the, uh, the, the couple in the corner by the bathrooms looking? Okay. When you first saw them, they were in their early 20s. Now it looks like if your parents were wearing the stuff that they went, or like, okay, modern day us. (laughs) If your parents were wearing what they were wearing when you were born. 
is what it looks like. Jane Fonda hair, gray t-shirts. Popped collar polo shirt, the weird shade glasses. But My I'm saying it's weren't that cool. I'm sorry. It looks like, <laughs> it looks like any time. Okay, this might be better. Anyone that went to high school knows that there was a decades day during homecoming mm -hmm. week, and the teachers in their 40s showing up like it's the 80s. That's what you're seeing. But they're de they definitely look older than they looked when we yes. popped back into almost 15, 20 years older. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the payphone. Okay, you go to the payphone. While all that's happening, if you want to finish up whatever. No, no. In there. Uh, mm -hmm. You go to the payphone. I need you to read a bad situation. Tiny bathroom, shitter hallway. The phone. Yeah. What's that total? Uh, seven. Okay. Seven. So that's a mixed success. Ask me one question. I'll read a bad situation. What's my best way in? The door you just came through. Because it's it's all it's you go through the door, men's room, women's room, door to the kitchen, pay phone at the end of the hallway. So the best way in is the way you just came in. Alright. Cool. Go to the payphone. Could right. I read a bad situation? Oh, no. Damn. Take one harm and we'll get back to you. Okay. Uh -oh. Well, hold on. You have armor. I do. The two of them. Roll me tough to see if you resist the other part of this. Then I do Ooh. indeed. That's boss cars plus two. Okay, we'll get back to you. I'm the tank. Good. We'll get back to you. All right. Uh, police investigation at gunpoint. What we got? <coughs> what? Uh -oh. And the light just decides. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> the like, remember me, Wheezy? <laughs> all right. That it has been a long, stressful day for all of us, and in that the last thing I need is that some redneck causing a scene at, at just a very delicious breakfast diner. Well, that's not very nice. I'm just trying to just enjoy my pecan water. Oh, my God, here. he's dead. Oh. What? Becky's looking at the body. Like, because she's like, you're here, he's here. She's leaning around, which means the newspaper is here, and she is seeing dried up husk body. Just a loud, audible fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? You took them over to the body. Oh, I, had thought I, had, I thought I was taking them over by the couple making out. Oh, yes. okay. I'm sorry. I thought, you were, away I'm sorry. From the body. I thought you were taking them to the body. No, oh, that's not her. come here. Oh, come okay. look at this body. Okay, <laughs> Hey, kids, you want to see a dead no, body no, in a wall no, house? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Let's just uh, kind of back up the players for understanding. So, that the plan was to basically uh, Nad and Jim go all the way over by close to the bathrooms and stuff for you to investigate the body. And then you went to the bathroom to make a phone call. Everybody's on one side of the wall house. I don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, the only reason I was going to go try to make the no, phone fair. call was because they were heading over to the body. Could we... Retcon fix this? Yeah, we have already rolled dice. Alright. Alright. Okay, I was about to look up information and then it went to DeviantArt and it's just goddamn Dio in a thong. <laughs> Beautiful! <laughs> Share with the table! No. Anyway. It's one of those, you thought today would be the day I'll you played Monster later. of the Week, but instead, I, 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 I... I'll, I'll oh find God. it later. Anyway, anyway then that... <laughs> Then that Ned, <laughs> then that you know, the Ned is just going to like look over, kind of like confused at Ron, like. He's supposed to go the other way, right? I guess I don't know, but then that you are the one still in trouble. Wink. And I'm just sitting here with the shotgun right here, like in my lap. It's like yes, yes, I am. In I am very sorry about my, my behavior tonight. I'm sorry. I leaned forward and things happened. <laughs> but that, all, of it, all of it is just that those squeaky boofs is fine. <laughs> they do speak. Oh, God, no. Uh, can I look at uh, at Becky and, uh, was it Lunas? Ligment Cross. Ligament. Ligament Cross. I wrote Ligament. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. You should have seen the warning of my face here and then my face three seconds later. I don't smell it, so I'm so I'm glad. It like skipped you and I just decided to hit Mesa. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that this is Team Bonus Action. (laughs) Hashtag fart. Hashtag two. Hashtag goddammit Hewitt. Hashtag. Hashtag the shit. So how are uh, fucking fucking Cross and Becky looking? They're looking older. It's very familiar to the last time you saw this. Something's going on. Yeah. It's still. We need to find something. All right, go ahead and wrap up. Okay, so uh, a mop strikes you in the back. That's why there's a... I have two armor. That don't matter. You just got smacked with a mop and it breaks. It's just one of those, like, you're walking in. Yeah. As you look, Calvin has struck you with a mop. The fuck do you think you're doing? I don't know where shit's happening. My pubes are gray. My pubes are gray. I don't know what's happening to me. Good for you. Everything's been weird since you came in here. Yep, that's because I'm... I remember Bill Clinton being elected, and I don't even know who that is. What's happening, man? I'm a witch, and you're a ghost. (laughs) He gets my weed. He gets his weed from me. That's why he acts. <laughs> that's called Mule Kick. Because <laughs> you know weed has to have a weird name like Mule Kick. Tractor backfire. Don't okay. tell the cops. <laughs> I need fi- I need a bag of don't call the cops. <laughs> I want to continue to the, the payphone. Dial up with the, the super secret special code. Five, five, five. Five, 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 five. Yep, all the fives. So many fives. Pound symbol because it wasn't called hashtag yet. I still know what a pound symbol is. I don't. I don't and then and then, as soon as it clicks through, 1989. No idea what the fuck's going on. Might be 1979 here in about five minutes. Hey, I hang up you, again. Okay, as you're <laughs> as you're about to start saying, you look down and the cord's been cut. Oh fuck. And Calvin is kind of staggering with a box cutter. He has a box cutter? He has a box, like, he has a legitimate old school, like, the little bitty thin ass strip. Oh, those. The, the little, the, the, like, super unsafe, you're gonna cut your goddamn hand. We put a metal blade in this, and it has a little bitty slidey bit of metal right here. Mm-hmm. All the four inches of doom. Alright, so I pick it up. I Work go to, shift. Go to, go to dial, pick it up, see that it's cut, hang it up, turn around, Calvin's got a box cutter. His eyes are glazed over. You won't make this difficult for me. So your first action is to say that to him? Mm-hmm. It's too harm that you ignore as your clothes get cut by the, uh, the box cutter. <sighs> You're pretty sure your nipple might have chinked the blade of the box cutter because... Well, there's a ring there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it um, resonates... Like a, Everyone uh, in the whole restaurant. That's the sound. Or you see, Lynch, that's the sound of a nipple ring being attacked by a shit. <laughs> that oh. sounds like an E. <laughs> no, that's an F minor. <laughs> so I'm going to shrug my arms so the chains slide down out of my sleeves so that I can wrap my hands around them. My spiky, spiky Prometheus oh, fuck, chains. You're going to fuck him up. <laughs> you just go full goddamn Kratos in this bitch. <laughs> I say, let's party. Roll kick some at. So yeah. they wrap around your hand so you can do spike brass knuckles. Yeah, because okay. it's uh it is hand area heavy. Okay. Ooh. Messy. So, so what what are the tags here? Hand, so, so you got a punch. Chain artifact spikes heavy. Okay, hold on. So it's a chain. Yes. Which means it does technically have range if you want to throw it out. But it, it specifically says hand area. Okay, so and then um, well, hold on. Does it say? Let me, let me, give me a goddamn character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> I read better than I just listen. Bro, chain ADHD. one harm. Yes, right. Artifact has the magic tag. Yes. Right. Don't tell me artifact. Tell me goddamn magic. That artifact 
Okay, you showed up with somebody's grandpa's pocket chain wrapped around your hand. It's no, my, I didn't. It's, it's a my, magic. Metaf- my metaphysical so, bad. So chain. it's magic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Harm, harm, heavy chain, harm. Free harm, chain, chain. and messy. Yeah. Okay. Magic. So, okay. Spiky chain wraps. Okay, so yeah, so you, don't, you do not have range with this, okay? No. Good, I'm just double checking because chain usually n- denotes. Or like, a, a whip, like Simon you're, Belmont. You're, thi- you're, well, thinking, like, you're thinking like. like Dale's. Like Dale's, Dale's Belmont whip. And I specifically built something not Dale. Good. So, okay, so you got your chain knuckles. You're, you're ghost ridering this bullshit with yes. your three harm. Punching <laughs> a fucking high school kid in the face. Roll me some kicks in the ass. Well, technically, that's... Ah! Ah! What, is this? what is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, my God. Oh, Sterner Kid about to do something. This is literally... This is why I built this character, because I knew the dice would reflect this. I am Prometheus. I will always fail at everything. Let's go! Let's yeah, go! Yeah, but he taught us how to cook shit with fire. And that's all he did. And then Zeus said, fuck what? that shit. No, I thought he also helped design so, our physical bodies. Depends on which version of the mythos you read. But so that anyway, gets me a level up, so I'm going to figure out so how to do So you, with you that. punch, and you watch as Calvin does this. Oh, shit. But you watch as his upper body does this, his lower body stays in the exact same mm-hmm. position. And then from his abdomen, two little hands shoot out with knives. Oh. <clears throat> he's, a, he's a meat suit. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody expects the Pillsbury Doughboy to fuck them up to die. God. Good lord. Popping fresh in your fucking face. <laughs> it just sounds like a cuphead bumps. Jesus. Popping fresh the cup. You know what? Hey, don't DLC for the new Cuphead game. Pillsbury Doughboy's got to be in there. That they had already did that. That that was the new. That that oh. was the latest DLC. That the baker, the salty baker. Damn. Anyway, so. You do that in these two hands. Like, you see, like, the hand that has the box cutter is up like it's about to come down. And I was like, ha, ha! Comes out of his stomach area. They clever girl me. Yeah. And you get, you're going to take three harm, ignore two of it. Yep. As these two knives stab into you, and as they let go, the knives are still in your abdomen. And they start growing really cold, and you start to feel weaker. Like, okay. you, you've been stabbed, and you feel like, hmm, it feels like you're being zapped. Back to everybody in the other room. Do we hear all of this going on? No. Acoustics are fucking weird in the Waffle House, dude. Also, this is this is par for the course for me. I always he, he, he's go on again. to check the body, right? At least it wasn't spiders. I'm, like, sitting I'm there like, going like this. I was, spiders. Yeah, but I'm I like got this. this. I like, got this. whispering. <laughs> I would tell you I, what. I am totally. What the I would tell I that I that I would tell y'all what that it is being just a holiday night. I will t- now that I will proceed to turn a blind eye on this. Benjamin, fuck is actually happening. But I will. But but I but I will still get to try to talk to my people to try to make sure that your record is clean for helping out at least. Fuck yeah. <laughs> He's like, sure. All right, right. That. All right in that, y'all just go ahead and then, like enjoy y'all's uh, meal. And what time is it, by the way? Hmm? Time. Oh, you look at it. Five till. All right, going to go like go look at the pot. Yeah, I'm like sitting there. <laughs> you just and like sheepishly trying to hide the shotgun. Right. So what? Do you want to go to the body or me? I mean, we can both go. You just tried to. This is just the DM here. You put a gun to the back of his head and said, sit your ass down. I don't need a redneck making a mess in the middle of this Waffle House while I do my FBI paperwork. I would that I would go in and uh, basically investigate the body. <laughs> and you try to go find Ron. Yeah. And I just get up and go to the back where Ron is. Okay, so we're uh, both you roll me 1d6. We'll see who we resolve first. I got three. See. You got three? Yeah. So you go over to the dead body. Okay. Uh, Mr. St. Germain. Okay. What are you doing? Investigating the body. Okay, give me a read of that situation. Okay. That is a six. That means uh, you get the old one. Okay. 
six that's hold one? No, I thought it, it was. No, no, wait, that's failure. No. Sorry, six. I thought yeah. it was seven. Never mind, that's failure. Yeah, uh, you, you walk in and you watch as Ron has these gnarly, spiked ass, giant link chains. Like, I'm talking like Halloween store, Walmart decoration, like four inch goddamn chain links mm -hmm. that are razor spiked. Go to punch Calvin in the face, and Calvin, like the upper body, like unnaturally goes, whoop, and the lower body's still standing there. And then all of a sudden, out of Calvin's abdomen, two little almost ice shard type daggers jam into his abdomen, and you watch him like, whoop, all damn is fucking and, and start, start going pale. Okay, I pull out my shotgun okay. and I move into a direction to where I know I won't hit him. Okay. With the blowback. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Roll, roll me kick some ass because I'm assuming you're about to shoot Calvin. I'm about you're to about shoot. to shoot a, a. You know, I'm not going any further with that because of the goddamn situation our country's in. Um, yep. th let's go with this. I'm not going to make this any worse. I did see him do some supernatural. I'm not, I'm not going to make this any worse. Let's just go. You're going to shoot the supernaturally possessed teenager. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah ten. Yeah. <laughs> ten, so uh, we kick some ass. You don't have it on a ten. You get to choose an additional effect. Isn't that when it becomes... Nope. You have to get it, the advance. On kick some ass. On a seven plus, on a ten plus, oh. advanced. Uh, okay, ten. it's three harm, close, messy, loud, reload. It's, it's a goddamn shotgun. <laughs> yeah, it's loud and messy. What in the... What was that? I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice and suffer less harm. Okay, so you got so you shoot and this is what you see. That middle section where the hands shot out, <laughs> shotgun blast just rips through and it's fucking gone. There is a spine. <laughs> As clothes and loose skin, but no flesh. Or offal or blood comes pouring out of Calvin. That's you're going weird. you're gonna take one harm, ignore armor. Ignore armor? As from the crotchal region, another mm. ice dagger slams into you. <laughs> oh, shit. It hits you in, like it hits you like ace ventura in the dead center of the thigh. Oh god. Oh, no. And on oh. the ground you see a small blue green humanoid with long ears, a bat like nose and jagged teeth that y'all find familiar from a smile you saw not long ago, as it then falls apart into what looks like trash paper, watch gears, an old magazine, just trash you would normally find, like broken glass on the floor as it falls apart, and all of a sudden you see two little ears sticking up from above the hips, and you see two little feet the same color dangling from the upper body, so now there is a... So it was it, it, three, a, three gremlins in a Calvin coat? Yes. <laughs> However, I will let you both make a weird check when you look at this creature to see if you know what it is. A oh, weird definitely. check? That's gonna suck. Oh, wow. I actually did pretty good. It's, uh, it's, that's, that's, with that negative eight. one, it's a six. You got six? Okay, I'll allow you, this is the, I'll say there's a price to pay on this one. I'll take a price. Okay. You can take one more harm because you were distracted by what you saw when it went flying out when that thing hit you. And I will tell you exactly what you're staring at because you've dealt with them before. Oh, I, I've taken the harm. You're looking at what is known as a time goblin or a time thief, a snitch, a chronoblin. <laughs> time gremlins. Okay. Goblins, there's a difference, madam. There is a difference between goblins and gremlins. One you don't feed after midnight, and one's the goddamn raccoon stealing from your trash can. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Hashtag goblins are the raccoons of the fantasy world. Tell me I'm wrong. Hop Dang goblins. Damn old goblin. Damn old goblin. But yeah, you were dealing with the most common name is Time Thief. The damn time thief over there. Or something you might know a little bit better is a time bandit. I've seen this movie the only way to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, Dad, don't touch it. It's evil. <laughs> and then they touch it. And then, and then, what's his name? Fucking. Goddamn Terry Gilliam's brilliant on some shit. 
Yeah, or, what, was, or was that Terry Pratchett that did that one? Are no. we are we going to enter roundtable like initiative now? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, because we're what they're okay. Monster of the week. There's technically no initiative. You could all just, he could just like I'm going to yell over everybody and I'm going to keep doing shit. But Watch. here's the no. We're switching back to the other side. Yeah. So um, you're investigating a dead body. Mm-hmm. Um, you know that something drained from it. Right. And then you hear the loudest goddamn shotgun blast from behind a set of sad-ass quarter-inch thick, not-quite-steel saloon doors that break off every goddamn <laughs> bathroom of a Waffle House in the 80s. Now we have fire doors. Back then? And as you look back in that direction, there's greenish blood that splatters, and then you watch it turn into... <laughs> crumpled up paper and shit that falls to the floor. On the other side of the lift window and the swingy doors. And and, mo- and seconds later... <laughs> Goddamn gerblins! <laughs> Goddamn gerblins over here! And you just see... Becky, Stealing my time! Becky just runs back to the office and you just see Linjamin. Lynchman? Lynchman no. reaches underneath the counter and pulls out... The fire axe? No. Pulls out a double barrel 12 gauge shotgun yes. and pumps it. I'm not allowed to have it, but it belongs to the store. <laughs> <laughs> and he just points it over at the door. Jim! Jim! Damn goblins! What are you doing? <laughs> As you now see, Lynch, like the couple, the elderly couple, is now... Oh shit! And they duck down. You're not sure if they said oh shit because a dude with a shotgun or if it's an old black man with a shotgun. <laughs> it's 1980s and somewhere in southern Louisiana. It's it's a legitimate oh thing. God. You just basically just, you know, the sense is kind of just uh, like underneath that, you know, the sense that I am always prepared that she has her medical kit, but then she also quickly like unzips that this little fanny pack thing and just puts together the sniper rifle points it straight at Linjamin. Like, I think that you may want to put that down. I'm aimed at your head. <laughs> His eyes are like... <laughs> now, I advise you to sit the fuck down and just stay watch while I go investigate. As you do that, he just uses the butt of the shotgun to hit the side of the register and it opens. You can take whatever you want. I'm not taking the money. You, you hear I don't want the, the money. You hear in the background, God damn, zombies, steal my time! <laughs> I will go handle this situation and then I will make sure oh, that, that, that I will make sure that my people will talk to your parole officer or who or just whoever the hell you're The whole time he's like, the fuck is happening? And he just, he puts the it, shotgun. It he is just, going he to just, be he, a brand new year for you. He just puts the shotgun down on the counter and sits down on the disgusting ass mats that are down on the oh, floor. Everybody, everybody knows these goddamn uh, scullery mats. Anybody that's had a job in the food industry. Yeah. Oh, pretty bad. Ass. There's that's a dead so, rat underneath oh, the last fucking Oh, bottle. shut up. No. Uh, now, Jim, what the hell is going on? So you walk back to me. You walk back there and you see Calvin with just a blasted out middle that has a spine that is wiggling, two little feet kicking and two blue ears sticking up above the hip bones. And he has this shard that is dug in and like there is red all down this leg. And you watch as uh, you see as Ron has two, what looks similar to what's in his leg in his gut. Before we get, there's something we gotta do before we get to that. So you watch them and there's just this Macabre puppet Calvin still alive and moving. Yeah, the little feet are wiggling. Uh, the little feet wiggled <laughs> out from the rib cage and ears above the hip bones. Taking a damn shot at this damn thing <laughs> with the with the sniper rifle. Hell yes. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that that's a ten. All right. Uh, so that means you get one of the additional abilities on kicks and ass. I won't. Wait. What part are you you're shooting? Right, you're right. Um, I'm. Sh- Top or bottom here? Up here. Top. Uh, I when I am going to give the plus one forward to Ron as okay. I just shoot it in the head for four arm. Okay, so you watch as the head explodes off of Calvin's body and a headless little blue body comes out, but the lower half shifts, and again from the crotch region, mm-hmm. an ice dagger shoots out and you're going to take two harm. Oh, I'll take that. And no, you I'm start not. feeling like something is 
draining you. I can. All it is is just a scratch. I fix it later. Okay. So, Ron, as you you're gonna pull them out, you yeah. pull them out, but you have a minus one going forward. So it just negates. Yeah. One plus one. As you pull it out, that whole you're looking at the region, and what was once your abs and tattoos. I'm mm-hmm. assuming. Mm-hmm. So many. Is now saggy skin with a slight paunch at the bottom, and the tattoos are faded. Oh. This is what's bad. It's like you can see, like it starts fading from just underneath the peck. So it's like this part of the dragon looks dope, and then down here it's just old and raggedy. But if you move your pant leg a little <laughs> bit, it, the, 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 the part that goes down the leg is still pretty good. You still got the pitch and flames. I just want to drop the the daggers before they can do any more damage, and then just kind of and just crotch kick. The Calvin puppet. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Do your chains wrap around your feet? Are we are we going full Knight Rider with this shit that we have a semi sentient living weapon that can? It does. Kick? It does say magic. Okay. I'm like like think think. Have you seen Nesha? On, yes. On Alabaster the chain. Your weapon just goes. I got this. And slides, no, it doesn't do that. The chain just slides out and you boot him in the foot with like, it balls up like an extra like inch and a half. Okay, nobody look down the hallway. I'm assuming that is my child to go pee. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, I, I want to I wanna literally kick some balls. Roll kick some, some kick some ass. See if you can kick a goblin out of a corpse. Yeah. That's cocked. Hang on. Ugh. Okay. Oh, 12. hell yeah. 12. Mm-hmm. All right, so you get one extra thing. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to have the plus one, neg one. Okay, so it is just flat. Yeah, it's just a flat roll. But is that neg one going to be continuing? You don't know yet. Okay, all right. Um, Child, you good? I force them where I want them. Okay, where do you want them? Uh, Out of the puppet. In. Okay, so you're kicking them out of the puppet in there. Toward, toward these two, yeah. To between these two. They're, they're you are literally like, crotch kicking a goblin out of a puppet wee. between your redneck and yuppie business partner at this point. Seems like fun. Yeah, okay. Uh, so you, you so do that. You're going to take... Two, three. So, that's, four, that's four harm from my... Yeah, so that's three harm that you would deal. I'm sorry, that's three harm you would take. You ignore two. Okay. You take one as another one of those little icy daggers. Hits you right here in the cheek. Not the fa- not the moneymaker! Right here, just in the cheek. It doesn't go in deep. It's just like all of a sudden it hits here. Uh, and and then you get those lines. No, it's going. just it's one of those that it's just dangling enough for you to feel it if anybody's ever had this like anything. Like when you peel off a Halloween mask and there's that one part that's still just hanging there and you can feel enough weight that your face is like, I shouldn't have this here. Anyway, so that happens to can, you. Can I like yeah, you're gonna be able to shake it out. You're just gonna have a couple wrinkles. Actually, you're gonna you're gonna have a little bit of a beard in one spot. It's fine. I'll shave it. It's fine. <laughs> you shave it, and all of a sudden, it's like the Santa Claus. Damn it! <laughs> so you you kick it out. You put it where you want it, but it's dead. Good. You cro- You broke its hip. It this full on moral combat. You watch it as you look at it go flying out. It clicks to midnight. And you're off in the distant futuristic year of 1979 on the jukebox. Oh a not that old song of Time in a Bottle is playing. You three look the same. The wow. gentleman with the newspaper, as far as you can tell, looks the same. But there is a disco couple down at the other end of the bar sitting in a booth. I immediately, enjoying themselves. Okay, wait. Becky is not there, but Becky's mom, Lecky, oh, is there. Lecky with an eye. And this is... Linjamin's second year of working at the Waffle House. Oh no, he's more unhinged. No, he's uh, he's in his late thirties. He has a very angry disposition, and you know this because you've been going to this Waffle House since the seventies. We're about to run out of Waffle Houses if we keep going back in time. <laughs> oh, solve the fucking mystery, y'all. I don't want to have okay. to be like, all right, you're at the. Tavern. It's <laughs> in the far off distant futuristic year of 1776. Literally going to get a I immediately. Bonjour, yeah. monsieur. Okay. 
I get up. <laughs> is there like a wound on my leg? Your leg's really sore. I want to okay. want to kind of check my check my midriff. Yeah. Where did I get hit? It? You didn't. Uh, I had took too long. Okay, you got hit in the butt. I don't know how it, it's in the butt. <laughs> Uh, I immediately your, your get abs out. look like okay. You no longer have abs on that side. There's abs here, oh, and then no. there is. I'm in my 30s and still in shape. You have. I'm gonna be in a superhero movies in the 90s physique on one side, and you have. I'm a superhero in the O's physique on the other side. You haven't hit superhero physique in the 90s or the in the teens. Where you're literally in that shape for one week for all five scenes that you have to be seen without your shirt on. I just want to look over at Nad, make eye contact. Do we recognize each other? We were gonna look over it. I immediately get up and go to the guy with the newspaper and like rip it out. He's <laughs> a desiccated dead husk. Lucky. Oh my God! And Lenjamin. Shut up, Lenjamin. Shit, I ain't going back to jail. Sit down. Who is this? Fine. And I pull his body like this and I look at his face. Uh, roll me investigate a mystery if you're trying to figure out who he is. I'm just kind of standing up like in front of the Ten. bar, like trying to keep them from <laughs> rushing <laughs> us. Third time slot. <laughs> is when we lose our shit and we're like, we're done with this bullshit. Okay, I got the <laughs> What'd you got? Yeah. You're looking at him? You remember this face because you know vampires. Oh. <laughs> you know the leeches. This is an old one. Dangle, Buffy, dangle. <laughs> you heard him known as Jacob. You heard him known as Old Jake. You've heard him known as Jacques de Saint Germain. Vampire prince of the city of New Orleans. Time traveler. Alchemist. Charlatan. As you move his lips, there are long fangs. Mm. The skin is dried and cracked around the eyes. But that, since what'd you roll again? I got 11. You notice, woven around his neck, and going and crossing underneath his shirt across his torso, is a little silver chain that has made all the skin around it black. I toss his body to the ground and I'm like, God damn vampire! And I stick the <laughs> shotgun to the chest and shoot. <laughs> so you shoot a hole in a cadaver's chest. You blow the chest wide open. Well, I was trying to get the silver chain. Oh, okay, now roll some kick some ass. If you're trying to hit the chain, now we're doing something. Just, I'm going to shoot a dead body, Hewitt. <laughs> hey, kids, you want to see a dead body? <laughs> now you don't. <laughs> hey, it's a pinata. <laughs> you got a ten? You snap the chain? You blow a hole in the corpse? And the eyes open and look directly at you, grab the shotgun and bend it up in a U. Oh, your shotgun's incapacitated. This fucking sucks. I pull out my... Come on, do we... <laughs> Jump, do we... You pull out your knife. Another hand comes up, grabs your wrist, and you feel it snap. Take three harm. Oh, oh. Oh, Wait, do we, do we still, do we keep the harm from yeah. before? Yes. Now, you get to ignore some of it because you have your jury rig. This is not magical harm. So, it crushes in and you feel the, you feel the bits and pieces of, you know, Bessie, your old tractor that you wove into your jacket. <laughs> and just looks at you. Where are they? Dude, okay, so while, while that's What you looking for, you blood-sucking son of a bitch? Wow, wow. Wow, that was okay, happening. so this is happening. Y'all watch. Y'all are watching this happen as okay. someone puts a couple of pecan waffles and a BLT in front of you, and Becky or Lecky runs to the back to call the police. Linjamin runs to the back because he ain't going back to jail. As soon as as soon as Vamp Vamp Prince over here says, "Where are they?" I want to be looking for Calvin. Okay, give me a. You know what? This still seems like this seems like an investigative mystery on where did Calvin go? Where in the Waffle House is Calvin? We don't have a last name. He's just Chris. Calvin. God! Calvin is a slippery son of a bitch. Mango uh, Calvin. I gotta go do damage control. There is no damage. You have summoned a vampire prince in a Waffle House. 
There is no damage control. As, as I'm looking around, where the fuck is Calvin? The, the couple who looks like they're in their late 20s instead of early 20s run for the front door to get out. Alright, going to look for Calvin. I have lost I'm my goth chill. I'm just a spazzy teenager. Oh my god. Are we oh, done? Oh my god. Really? That's, what? what, is, what is I'm that so tone? sorry. We're going to die. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and watch this shit. Oh my god, God. it's the damn dice! I'm gonna have to go back and clip so much of this shit. It's the dice, man. See, this is what happens. Kyle doesn't show up for our big, dark, spoopy game, and then all of a sudden I come in and cause nothing but goddamn chaos. Fucking Calvin. I'm bringing out the baby metals. Chris, Chris, we can blame Calvin for this. We can blame Calvin for this. So, so they can't find Calvin. (laughs) You're looking as. This desiccated husk of a body starts to resume a human pallid color, and then you watch his Rococo makeup starts to form over his face, and his clothes become more vibrant, gold trim and a deep burgundy with purple, the royal purple, so there's a slight odor to it. And he he begins to stand in front of you. Damn old stat right here. No, my dear boy, I am not that would-be usurper. I am legitimate nobility from the old world, you peasant Levite. Levite. What do you do? The shotgun Your shotgun lands. has been curved back towards you Bugs Bunny style. <laughs> Don't do it. You got a big knife. You got a big and you knife, got a revolver. But a broken wrist. Yeah, yeah. No, the wrist isn't broken. It's just he took one damage because I forgot he had armor. Oh, I only took one damage. Okay. You, it was three damage to you, but your armor's what, two? Uh, no, it's one. Okay, so, so you took two damage. So I'm in the dying territory. How fun. Yeah, yeah your wrist is kind of, That left arm's fucked up, dude. Ow! Once more... One chatter. second! I pull out a cigarette. <laughs> He has taken, like, he is, you're watching a vampire noble reform in, like, yeah. okay, it's ni- it's 1979, so, I mean, the, the, the graphics aren't that great. You right. can tell that someone rotoscoped this bullshit in your brain. Um, but, no, he is taken aback by the fact you told him to pause and he, you're lighting a cigarette, and he looks at you like, oh, chattel, where? Oh, you, know, you see a goddamn kid running around here somewhere? Goddamn fucking curly hair ass little bitch. <laughs> I well go on look for him. Crush my arm. Damn. Trying to kill my dad and my brother. I can't remember anymore. This is hurting. <laughs> he is not just like this yokel is crazy. <laughs> and he is literally going to sidestep around you. I am looking. For the horde of Kronos. Yeah, three of them. Wearing the, the janitor kid like a meat suit. We've done this already. He's just like, they have been using my goddamn... Why, like, yes. <laughs> well, yes he just starts going. You, everybody roll me a... Uh, roll me a... Uh, just straight practice. sharp to see if y'all can pay attention. If you catch them. Oh, shit. I'm yeah, rolling... Eight. eight. Nine. Okay, y'all notice Calvin looking through the, the double doors and go <laughs> and just <laughs> starts trying to book it. Book it. Point. I will destroy you last. And just mm-hmm. goes through the doors and part of his trail of his big ass fucking Rococo coat gets cut. God damn. <clears throat> you see, you hear a kick and the door goes flying off and shatters a window. As soon as he's passed and like we're looking at his back and the no capes moment and everything, um, I want to be, I want to do the like the the hip slide over the counter and into the kitchen space. I want to start making some holy water. Can you give me that shotgun that fucking uh, cross? Now you down need there? some healing there first. <laughs> uh, cross actually tosses the gun. <laughs> Jim, huh? are you old, Jim? I'm old? You're old. Always been old. I had just oh. did a medic check on you. I had got a 10, so that are you unstable? 
Uh, unstable in- injuries worse. Am no, I mean, technically unstable, or if you moved into the dying category, you were unstable, and I would start taking a health at the end of okay. each turn. Okay, so that are you unstable? That's what I'm yeah, asking. I would be unstable. Okay, I would stabilize you. Okay, so I'm stabilized. Okay. Can I make holy water? Uh, roll me weird. <laughs> and Those guys have hated you for this little weird ass Waffle House game, haven't they? There we go. Eight. Eight. Eight ish. I'm going to say you make holy water, but you know, it's the water that you had to hit the little tab underneath the high C spigot on the, the soda fountain. So you're not sure if that counts or not. Like, you blessed it. I you're like, going like this. I want to have, have a whole tea pitcher full of it. Okay, so you've made a tea pitcher of holy water. You know what? It's what I got. Chains. It's slightly pink. Because, you know, if anybody's if anybody's ever used the water dispenser next to the fruit drink on yeah. any, it's mm-hmm. still slightly fruit drink. It's Always. just LaCroix. It has been LaCroix. But I got silver chains. I got silver chains and a pitcher of holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to box a vampire. <laughs> go. you don't have I to- am the Belmont! Y'all going to have to give me a minute. Uh, Jesus Christ, you fucked up my room. Uh, <laughs> like, you, like, she has literally splinted your arm. I want to go and position oh. myself on the other side of the French doors. I want to try to. Okay, well, hold on. There's the fr- there is a French door. Okay, fine. He can- so he he went in, saw no Calvin in the bathrooms, and went through the door of the kitchen where Lecky also ran. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to see. We gotta see him. Cal- so I mean, you could just walk through the scullery doors because they yeah they go to the same room. Yeah, I'm going in the kitchen. Let's go. <laughs> I'm, gonna go to shotgun. I'm just. I'm just holding. I guess that's Are my. Are you going with your sniper rifle? Yes. I, I just take I the shotgun. I am going to go and... up, stay up in the back a little bit because I'm range. Okay. I'm no, fucked up, so. Okay, so you're like. I'm the melee, let's go. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming you, you, then you. Yes. You hear a car start up and drive the fuck off from the parking lot. Uh, well, there was a couple that ran out the front door. Okay. So you get into the kitchen and you, like, Linjamin. Is behind you with a fire extinguisher. And uh, you get back there and you see that Lecky is up against a wall, completely terrified, weeping, blood across her shirt. Mm -hmm. Not her blood because it's definitely a different color. And the back door of the Waffle House is swinging open. I don't like getting to the front and hide. I'm booking it for the door. If the if lamp's not here, I'm booking it outside. You get out there, and uh, as you get into the parking lot, you watch as St. Germain is chunking the disco dude out of the car, and the lady is running as he is now stealing an, a, uh, an El Camino. I want to run as fast as Aiming I can. Aiming for the tires. No, he's stealing the El Camino. You watch... As Jim's truck is driving off in the distance. My fucking truck! Oh. Who the fuck is taking my truck? You oh. see him, I need this, and just throws the gun. You watch him go like 10 feet in the air and land and hit and roll. I jump into the El Camino. Are you jumping into the truck? Okay, hold on. Which which one had the truck bed that was a car with a truck bed? Was that El Camino. That's the El Camino. El Camino. So you jump into the back of the El Camino as the fucking vampire noble is getting in to try to drive goddamn stick. He's I, got my okay, truck. I wanted to run over there and try to start boxing the vampire before okay. he gets in the El okay. Camino. So, if so he's, try, to, he's trying to get in the El Camino. Right. I so want to run over there and as soon as I'm within so the, the Rococo, splash okay. range. So the Rococo fucking vampire lord that is trying to drive stick in El Camino is about to get boxed. You're just jumping in the back of the El Camino. Come on, Dracula, let's go! I am aiming for a, for one of the, for one of the tires. Okay, the so the, the easiest uh, one gem truck. Okay, so we'll start with you. Okay. Roll me a kick some ass. Don't hit the engine. Hit the engine. Fuck it. Okay. Uh, Your next mission is gonna be so difficult if you play these characters again. Not so, mine. I've hey. been rolling pretty no, good. No, no, no. You don't re-roll, dude. You just oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's as if right. you rolled a ten. Yeah, that, that's right. Ten. All right, so. Aiming for a tire, so then that's just making it go ahead and just do that the extra damage, so five. Okay, so you don't just shoot the tire. 
you hit the tire, and we go into Vat's bullet mode from Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> As it hits that tire... Oh, shit. I already did it. Clips part of the exhaust system, the bottom of the gas tank, and then the oh, front shit. tire. Yeah. And you watch as the vehicle flips up, and all the shit in the back of Jim's farm truck goes tumbling out. And ignites, because god damn it, I know there's fertilizer. Oh, my, what the fuck? So now there is a 20-foot fireball, so literally the spell uh. fireball was cast by a gun <laughs> somewhere on the on-ramp for I-10. I would buy you, you owe me. a new one. So you do that as you're running. Are you still jumping in the back of the El Camino? I do that, and, and then I, I'm like, okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> do you run towards your truck out the back? I run towards okay, the so truck. Roll kick some ass to punch the vampire noble in the face. I want to splash him with the holy water and punch him. Okay, so roll me kick some ass, because I'm going to say you punch him with the pitcher. Okay, okay, nine. Nine. So that is a mixed success. I so on I, you and whatever you're fighting inflict harm to each other. The amount of harm is based on the established dangers in the game. That usually means you inflict harm rating weapons. Okay, so how much harm is your weapon? So uh, if I'm chain punching with pitcher of holy water. No, no, no. We're, I'm just saying. You're, I'm saying you're doing you're doing a rope a dope here. Okay. Okay. So what is the damage? Because I'm gonna say, you get one punch, so you got your weapon damage, and you're also punching with the pitcher. So now I gotta figure out fucking holy water damage. Holy water damage. <laughs> Holy high sea damage. <laughs> so what is your weapons total? Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. Because yes. it's messy. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's three it's from... Cha it's chain, spikes, and heavy, which adds up to three, and then I took devastating on that level up I got right. from the experience. So and magic. It's four. And magic. So it is magic. Yeah. So four, it, ignores, four it ignores every Monday armor that he has. Yeah. So you punch him... You watch the jaw dislocate. The holy water burns him, so we're going to be able to double your damage. Nice. So you dealt eight damage to him. And then the jaw pops back into place, and he just looks at you. Skin is fine, but the Rococo white makeup oh, and the man. little cheek mole is gone. It's just... We're doing this. Five harm. Okay. Oh. oh, no. And you are sent flying back ten feet. Dying, spending the luck. I have to come back. Okay. Wait, already dead? I had two from before. Okay, hold on. You have armor. If you said... It's five harm. I didn't say... Okay, sorry. So you... New you, character. Who this? So three uh, harm. Three Because you have two. Yeah. So what, is that, what box does that put you in? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you are yeah. unstable. Unstable, but not dead. Okay, so how many empty boxes do you have? Two. Two. Okay, so we don't got to roll anything or make you spend the luck yet. You basically get psychically bitch slapped by the French noble vampire who's trying to get into a goddamn El Camino and go flying back and almost hit the brick wall. And you're looking at your broken pitcher going, Fuck yeah, holy high C. There's <laughs> <laughs> Kool Aid man. But everything kind of hurts across your yeah. whole body. Yeah. And St. Germain then sits in and closes the. If anyone's ever dealt with the yeah. 70s cars. <laughs> Why? Why doesn't the carriage's door close? You weren't invited. And I'm just... <laughs> it's not a domicile. There wasn't a mattress. This isn't some tiny house, house bullshit from 50 years in the future. Uh, 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 uh. So, are better. So. <laughs> See, he's just basically run over and just going like... Alright, I'm going to patch you up. Declare. Oh, here you go. That that is, uh, oh, I forgot, dude. It was on the couch. That that is going to be an eight. Mm -hmm. uh, did you elbow him? So, I didn't see him there. I'm sorry, buddy. Hey. Oh, wait a minute. I had actually read the wrong. On a 10, on a 10 plus that the patient is stabilized and also healed too. Okay, so take get two health back. Ooh. So that I would rather... Stabilize this go around since that you are unstable. So I will stabilize Ron. Okay. You just come up and Ron's like, my intestines are no longer falling out of my nose because of the psychic <laughs> bitch slap. Okay, uh, so you do that. So no healing, just I'm stable. running yes, towards just the, my flaming car or my <laughs> flaming truck. As you're running, you just see this one goblin. <laughs> <laughs> and just 
start rolling on the ground and then slowly stop and explode into a confetti of, like, watch gears and trash and, like, one, like, 1960s girly mag that's, like, mostly mildewed and rotten. Oh, so no. it's just, like, everything terrible came out of this little goblin. <laughs> and you see another four oh. on the other side of the vehicle. One still, like, partly on, what, it's here partly on fire. And they go, well, all right. Jesus, scatter! And they just, uh, they just all start running off in different directions. I'm going to try and shoot at one as quick as possible. Okay, uh, Romy kicks some ass. Are they within range for the shotgun? 11, 12. I'm going to say yes, because this is too fucking funny not to. <laughs> so I got a 13. Dang. 13? Yeah, uh, so what you doing on that? I'm point? inflicting... Or wait. So the shotgun is... I'm, I'm assuming I'm using a similar shotgun. Yeah, it, it, it's literally the same model and shotgun that came from Leroy's Shotgun Emporium. <laughs> okay, so three Leroy harm, and Jenkins. Close, messy, no. loud, reload. He's okay. not a responsible gun owner. He just runs in. <laughs> so what were you doing now? The extra harm? I'm going to inflict terrible harm onto one of these motherfuckers. <laughs> okay, so you watch the, the closest goblin, the one with the flaming ear that yelled for everybody else to cheese it. They had already cheesed it. <laughs> And you just, and it's just an explosion of detritus and terrible. But one of the other goblins turns around, points a finger at you, and goes, Curse it, me, you old hillbilly! <laughs> and, because apparently they have to rhyme, uh, give me a weird. Okay, four, five, six, seven, six. Six. <laughs> so, uh, Jim. You wake up in the far off distant futuristic year of 1969. You're a young man. Nice. <laughs> your, your beard is uh, still your natural hair color. No gray sneaking into it yet. Uh, you remember your friend Linjamin from high school that ended up going to jail for smashing up cop cars, but you know he didn't did it because your brother did. Damn cops. <laughs> Damn Timothy. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this is where you are from now. You're going to relive your life from 1969 to the future. You're dead. <laughs> He's not dead. He's dead to us. Yeah, y'all just watch as a portal opens up beneath the old crazy redneck and all of a sudden, <laughs> It smells like weed and bad decisions, but people getting the rights they were deserving for their entire existence beforehand. So, she's patching, trying to patch me up. Vamp dude is driving off in the El Camino. Vamp dude's getting into the El Camino. He hasn't figured out how doors on this goddamn carriage work. Oh my god. I want to check my watch. It says 11.59. Just keep me swinging! And I'm <laughs> running back over there. I gotta, I gotta beat up a vampire. <laughs> okay, roll some kicks and ass because you're punching the vampire, but you have no holy water bonus. You broke the yeah. picture on his yeah. face. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think. So, uh, God, because I don't. If it's already 11:59, there's no way I can run and catch the goblinoids. Yeah, no, I'm not punching a man. I want to bust out the window of the El Camino while I'm at it, but yeah. it ain't gonna happen because that's only a four. <laughs> so you punch and you hit the fucking. Uh, here's the deal: cars built back in the 70s were made out of actual fucking steel. That shit hurts. It's like your knuckles hit it. Um, and I'm a chain. Your knuckle hit. You dent the fucking frame. I mean, you punch the 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 section where the doors. Yeah. This one, I don't know what is that called. The support. The strut. Okay. You, you hit part of that goddamn solid World War Two war At vessel. At least the door won't close now. You did dent the frame, so you do that, <laughs> and he's just like. And then I want to hold the door. Closed. He's just looking at you. Hi. <laughs> and then he just puts a fingernail into the ignition area, turns it, and it ignites. And he drives the El Camino off into the night to go find the goddamn goblins. As you have now broken a fucking El Camino to punch a fucking vampire noble. So you just, dude, he's like. <laughs> I'm destroying the ozone as I do this. And it strikes midnight. Mm-hmm. And you wake up in the distant futuristic year of 1999. Oh. It is just you, Nad, who remember everything, 
a young couple that is very drunk talking about how it's already the year 2000. A 50 to maybe 60 year old African American man cooking your food and Becky with a Y who has just brought you a BLT and some pecan waffles. There is a uh, elderly redneck man who seems like he has seen far too much and that this scene seems very familiar from a long, long time ago. But there is no old man with a newspaper in the corner and there is no Calvin. You hear on the television set, Welcome to the new millennia! As the ball drops in New York. <laughs> Take my sandwich. Can I, I get it to go box, please? Leave a twenty. I leave. I and just I'm walking out to one hundred dollar bill. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> this has been a nice. So you get your stuff. You get to go boxes and you go off. Into I don't even get it to go box. I'm just taking the sandwich plain, leaving a and twenty, and walk into my rabbit. Okay. So, and you drive off into the night of the new millennium, not mm -hmm. knowing fully exactly what just. It's fine, I'm getting out of that damn waffle house. Jim? It's weird deja vu. <laughs> but we've, we've established those city slickers just left, so now home. you feel like you're free to do what you want to do in the Waffle House and <laughs> then your second home for at least 30 years. Well, I'm going to order some chopped up steak from my from puppies. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go home. Is my truck there? I yes. Will. Your truck is there. I'll walk up to it's, my truck. Uh, it's a little bit newer model. And instead of it being a 54, it's a 73. Mm -hmm. And I go into the back, false bottom, vampire hunting supplies. And I just get in the truck and leave. And you have survived. <laughs> smothered, covered, and slashed. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that that was, was a good fun. mystery. That was fun. Uh, I was hoping y'all would enjoy this because uh, <laughs> the, literally the only thing that I knew was we're going to do this in a Waffle House and then the word <laughs> Chernoblin showed up in my brain and I went, Time Goblin. <laughs> so now we have a new monster that can appear in anything oh, as a Chernoblin. This, this, this is awful. I'm ready. I'm ready. So I, I hope y'all enjoyed that little filler <gasps> campaign. Oh, absolutely. Questions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, uh... Hold on. End of session. Did we conclude the current mystery? Yes. That's one point. Three. Did we save someone from certain death or worse? Don't mark it yet, because we only get one point No. every two questions answered yes. No, it's there's a difference, so we're just counting out the number that we say yes to. Yes. Did we save someone from certain death? I believe so. I think you Lucky? can argue because everybody yes. everybody kept aging. Lucky. Mm -hmm. So I'll say two. Did we learn something new and important about the world? Chronoblins exist. Okay, Chronoblins <laughs> exist. Did we learn something new and important about one of the hunters? Insane. Apathetic. Take charge, bitch. Okay, so we'll say this. <laughs> if you answered... If, if you get one or two answers, yes, mark one experience. If you get three or four, mark two. So you get all you all get two experience. And that's a whole nother level up for me. I had I You could also argue that vampire lords know how to drive stick. And Rococo makeup is so, the somehow worst. somehow like y'all get like two or three levels with all the failures y'all did. I I didn't get any failures in the game. <laughs> I got one failure. I realize I should have not burnt a luck, but oh well, because I, I forgot I had a plus two tough one if I wrote that five, but we it's Oh, I boosted my tongue. You keep standing up while we're still streaming, so it makes it awkward. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, so I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, let's see. Tonight we will be back with, uh, in just a couple hours, about two hours, with uh, me, Cannon, and Knox doing uh, Kitchen Table. Monday we'll be back with Lossies, where they will finally, after three years of actual time, <laughs> get to help Kogo's sister. Um, okay. That, that, that was They had three missions three years ago to complete, and they're like, we'll just do a big loop. And then shit happened, and we took a year off. Um, so that'll be back. We'll be back with Cheers Kairos on Thursday, and we will be next weekend 
Friday we'll be playing Talisman online and streaming it. Yeah. We'll be doing another Monster of the Week, uh, Rougarou Fest. I'll probably sign up for that one. Is it going to be in person? Or it's going to be online. Okay. It's going to be online. Uh, awesome. Right now we have Frecky. We have Emily Erie. We have Kirithia. And, uh, so I'm hearing all girls campaign? So far, it's all girls campaign. I will join. Uh, if you want to. So now we've got Nasa. <laughs> Spence might be able to play. It depends on what time everybody's able to do it. I am free pretty much all day, except for the first three hours of the day after we're up, because i got to go mow two yards. Um, the earlier in the day we can do it, the better, I think. But we'll figure yeah. it out. And then we will be back next Sunday with Into the Woods by Bosch, if he is ready. We don't know. There might still be some stuff. So next weekend might also be another filler, which will be a D and D campaign if I run a filler. Oh, uh, right. So, or we might play all out of bubble gum. We do have other like tabletop games that we haven't. We do, but hey, of. Zeta, all out of bubble gum. All out of bubble gum sounds fun. What is that? You get ten pieces of bubble gum. Every time you fell a roll, you lose bubble gum, and you got to roll below your bubble gum. Because I came here to kick some ass and chew bubble gum. Oh. And I'm all out of bubble gum. Duke Nukem reference, video game character. Okay. Sounds like fun. Well, it, it, it's a, it's a game that gets progressively cool. more ridiculous. Of course, as we always do. So uh, that's what we got coming up. And uh, let's see, we currently still have the charity going on for St. Jude's this next weekend. It will be for Extra Life Tabletop. Yeah. So we got that. There will probably be some other games we throw in on that weekend if folks are here doing them online or if anybody's got any type of board game we can play online, we'll do it. Uh, so we got that. That's the that. So socials on Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. We are Team Bonus Action. On uh, Twitter, we are at under, or we are at bonus, bonus underscore, underscore team. team. You did it! On Linktree, we are bonus uh, team bonus action. And uh, anything else? If you see the Hydra, it's us. Um, so, uh, since Knox is not here, everybody! Don't, don't let your meat loaves! Oh, boy!